If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Isn't it a beautiful morning? When I said, uh, the other day, when I, oh, yesterday when I came in, that the sun was just like an orange, bright orangey red ball, really low to the horizon. This morning, I was exactly the same time, it was a bit higher up and it was beautiful, it's gorgeous out there. Anyway, today's early bird is gorgeous too. Da -da! It's a bestseller. It's an absolute bestseller, this. These are pinky shears and cutting shears. Dressmaking scissor set from Trimits. And you're saving seven pounds. Se seven pounds you're saving here. It's the early bird special. Uh, it's from Trim It, so you know that make, don't you? Twelve ninety nine. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence for these. Make sure you go through now. When I've had these, I've had these on before. I'll be honest with you. When I've had them on before, they've absolutely flown out. Completely and utterly flown out. These. Oops. I'll be back with you in a minute. I'm just redesigning. I'm redesigning the set. One of the rabbits has fallen over, that's all. They're a bit flopsy-bopsy, the rabbits. Well, that's a different make, isn't it? Anyway, you get pinky shears and you get dressmaking shears for £12.99. Oh, got a FIFO on this. Cross your bottom from Michelle. Uh, I couldn't resist dressmaking and pinking shears at a price lower than a pair of pinking shears. I am well impressed. Excellent quality project from Michelle in Tynan. We ya? When the board comes in. No, that wasn't good, was it? Sing to your daddy wing, to your daddy wing. The board comes in. 
That, you have to be my age to know what that was. It was a brilliant TV series. Now, I was going to be very clever and open these and show you how they worked. But I think they've been vacuum packed or whatever the word is. Anyway, you've heard from Michelle. Michelle told you how brilliant they are. Michelle's done my job for me. While you're checking out on those, lots of you coming in. I'll do a few hellos because there's hundreds of them already. Right, so Anne says, good morning. Off my second vaccine. Catch you later. Ghislaine says, good morning. Chris says, good morning. Jan says, morning. Gorgeous. Margaret says, morning, John. Beautiful and sunny. Beautiful and sunny here too. Barbara says, good morning. Suzanne says, morning, John and the team. Laurie says, morning. Oh, no, not Laurie. That's Lorraine. Morning, John and team. All ready for my sewing street fix. Sheila says, good morning. Marcia says, good morning, lovely people. Cousin Susan says, happy Wednesday, John. Lovely sunny day. Crazy Lorraine's in. She says, good morning. Judy says, morning. What a beautiful morning. Sue says, uh, it was May the 4th be with you. Hang on. If it was May the 4th with you, is it revenge of the 5th? I've got no idea what that means. Oh, is that? Oh, I didn't know that. Good morning, gorgeous, thoughtful man. Oh, that's nice, Laurie. Thank you. Who shall have... A little fishy when the board comes in. Morning, John and team, says Julie. That was Chris, by the way, seeing that. So she, Chris is old as well. Right. A message. I bought these when they were last on. They are brilliant. Not a FIFO, that's a direct message from June in Greater Manchester. June is busting out all over. I can see her. You, they forget, you forget, you see, I can see you, you can see me, I can see all of you. It's like one great big Zoom meeting. I can see all of your little squares all across my screen. I know, which is why I worry when people get in the shower when they're watching us and things like that. Thanks for that, says Chris. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Shelley says, good morning, John Noel. Lynn Tewitt says, beautiful morning here today. Hello, everyone. Julie says, hello. Isabel says, good morning. Another Stumry shirt for Summer's Day. This has got delphiniums on it, right? For Delphine. Delphiniums, Delphine. Uh, Hannah's going to get a slap later. She's in one of those moods today, everyone, just so you know. No. In a good mood, she's in a good mood, which makes her, uh, we prefer her in a bad mood, because normally if she's in a bad mood, she goes like this. Mm, mm. That's Hannah in a bad mood. Today she's in a good mood, so she's, she said, John, you're adorable, she said, which I know she's, she's fibbing. 12 99 Keep going through for these. G oh, another June's in. Our June's in. Susan says, morning, John, and all. Just got my coffee. Brighter morning here in Derbyshire. Leslie says, morning, all. Jackie says, morning, John. Thank you for brightening our days. Oh, Jackie, having a bad day. Jackie Jack says, hi, John. You leave Hannah alone. Tim says, morning, one and all. Uh, Jackie Jacks, Hannah says, thank you. I'm not, yeah. I'm not even going to go there. Oh, no, I wouldn't dare slap her because she'd slap me even harder. She would, and she's, we don't condone violence here at Sang Street. We're talking about whiplashing with the tongue. Oh, no, that sounds wrong as well. We use words, not fists here. No. I, I could see myself on the telly then. I thought, I'm, sure, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I am Bonnie Langford in Pugs Malone. Right, uh, Sue says, oh dear, John, if you can see me in the shower, you won't be able to carry on. <laughs> you'd, oh, you'd be too busy being ill. Sue, don't be ridiculous. Claire says, good morning, all. Annette says, good morning. Blimey, it's busy this morning. Are you checking out on these? Hurry up, because it's, oh, you're on once you have. <laughs> Once you have actually P and P paid for, P and P paid for for the day. Once you've done those, oh, we're going to move on in a second. Hang on. Oh, Jackie's having a nightmare with a new roof being done in awful wind. Oh, Jackie, I've told you not to eat beans before you go to bed. She's having a new roof. I've got in touch with a boy that cleans. Um, patios and things like that and I thought he'd just have a squirty thing like I use but he's not he's got like a like that's clean I don't know how he's gonna do mine because my patio is all over the place but anyway it's not cheap is it having your patio cleaned either 
I love the banter between you and Hannah. Oh, thank you, Susan. Stuart says, morning all. Coffee and peanut butter on toast time. Ooh, yum. Ooh. Oh, you have peanut butter on toast? She puts it in porridge. This is Hannah now. This is Emma. Emma puts peanut butter in porridge. Ooh. Oh, claggy. No, that'd be awful, wouldn't it? Sue says, morning, John Noor. Won't be able to see after nine o'clock. As I've got to go out, but I'll catch up later on YouTube. Sue from Chippy. And another Sue says, good morning, John T. My grandson has fallen asleep on the sofa. He should be getting ready for school. You need to shout him to get him up. His name is... Right, ready for this. I'm going to shout, everybody. Warn your dogs. Robert! Robert! Get yourself up and get to school. Robert! Come on. Has he still got his gym jams on? He's got his school uniform on. What time? I can't see him because I, I can see Sue, not Robert. Uh, Patricia says, good morning, John, from a cold St. Ives. Lynn says, morning, John. Snowing in Aberdeen. Everybody, it's snowing in Aberdeen. Oh, please don't let that come down here. Please. Oh, we can do the panel of the week now. That's fine. I shall move on to that. Now, you know, every Tuesday, I launched this yesterday. Every, oh, have we found out what it's going up to yet? Have we found out what it's going up to yet? Oh, no, we haven't been given the price yet, what this is going to go up to. But, look, it's four fat quarters. We launch it every Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock. We run it through until stocks last or until Sunday evening. And then it gets, uh, then the price goes up and a new one will be here next Tuesday. Which you think is me again, isn't it? Am I in next Tuesday? I think I am. I think I am. Me and Hannah next Tuesday. I've got I've got Saturday and Sunday to do yet as well. Hannah's not doing you're not doing Saturday, are you, Hannah? We don't know why. We have no idea why, but Hannah's not doing Saturday. She's doing Sunday. But anyway, look, these are four fat quarters. They've all got star because this is themed around yesterday's show. Remember, because we did um May the Fourth be with you yesterday. Spacey, baby. Princess says, good morning. Princess, were your ears burning earlier? Oh, it's clearing Peterhead. Thanks, John. He's in his pyjamas. Oh, he says he doesn't feel well. Oh, no. What day is it? Tuesday. Has he got PE? No, Wednesday. Has he got PE today? I used to do that on a PE day. Mum would just go, go. I'd go, can you write me a letter? No, just go. Just go. I never got a letter. So I was at to it all the time. I oh, know. 12 night time. This will go up on Sunday night. To whatever price it's meant to be. Cheryl says, morning, just back home from cleaning at school and away out again for lollipop lady duties. Cheryl, you're a busy girl. Four fat quarters for 12 99 And they're big fat quarters. Look, let me just put that in shot there. Look how big they are as fat quarters. Look, 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 look. There you go. Morning, get, a, get it a quick John Uplift before work. So bright and cheery, you've made me laugh already. Oh, thank you, Emma. And you live in a, a what am I trying to say? A beautiful, I was about to say you live in a beautiful part of the world, but it was going to come out as a swear word then. I didn't mean it to, obviously. Right, shall we have a look at today? Oh, I'm no, I'm, hang on. Right, wait a minute, because I'm not really ready. That goes there. We've got new, we've got new squirty look. Doesn't really work very well, this one, does it? I'm just do this because I won't be able to, because Delphine's on her way and you know what she's like. Have a look at the menu. Right, so coming up today, we've got, I, I just talk about getting your name on the menu twice. It's Delphine Brooks's Cat Softy by Delphine Brooks. And demonstrating it is Delphine Brooks. So she'll be here, there they are. There they are. There's another colourway. They're called Claude, Chloe and Cat. Cat. Oh, Carrie. Isn't that the name of my last guest today, Carrie? Uh, anyway, uh, so there, there's two of them. The other one's purple. Purple, as they say in Liverpool. Right, so that's the first hour. Second hour is, oh, we've got new Laura Ashley. We've got new Laura Ashley at uh, 9 o'clock. Now, I did say to you yesterday it might not be here, but it's arrived. It is here. <coughs> and... Um, uh, I need to warn you that it's not like, don't be thinking, oh, I wore Laura Ashley in the late 70s. It's not like that at all. It's not like... Elliot's had a haircut, everyone. Elliot, go on, go on that. Right, stay there, Delphine, stay there. Go, in, go into that set. Don't stay there. 
No. Oh, have you got a strange shaped head? <laughs> this is Elliot, right? Turn around, Elliot. Let's see the back of your hair. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> did you see somebody did an Elliot doll on the Facebook page yesterday? No. They crocheted an Elliot doll. No, they have. They have. I'll find it for you later. Thank you, anyway, thank you, Elliot. Oh, I bet you feel better for that, don't you? I bet you're about, oh, I was going to say a, a, wet, a stone lighter, but you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, let's go back to the menu. Go back to the menu, look. So then we've got Amber Makes. Now they're already selling out, not selling out, but selling incredibly fast. I will show you on the website in a minute. Um, and then at 11 o'clock, we've got Sewing Room Tools and the new Care Bear panels. And... Uh, Elliot's going to be modelling those. If he's still here at 11 o'clock, he'll be modelling those. Uh, then at 12 o'clock, we run all the way down to the Yarn Lane studio. Oh, you still haven't put a name on. Stylecraft Baby Kits with Carrie Grant. No, Carrie Fisher. No, Carrie Gardner. Carrie Gardner. Carrie Gardner. Star Wars and Carrie Grant and everything like that. And also, isn't there's a two Carrie Grants, aren't there? There's the old film star and then there's the lady who... Um, did the singing on Pop Idol and taught them on Pop Idol, did you? Anyway, anyway, there are three ways you can get in touch. Uh, this is the first way. You can send an email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Oh, sorry, I put I moved it. Delphine was busy looking for a kit then. She couldn't find it at all. Um, oh, oh, there's lots of, um, as they say, John, no whist for the wicked. No, exactly. You can message me on Facebook Live. Um, uh, then uh, also, now the other way is you can go to the website. Right at www.sewingstreet.com. Are you all right there? Yeah. Looking a bit bemused. Uh, anyway, click on watch the show live. Uh, then you'll get this. You see the box on the right hand side? You can write a message in there. Uh, that will go through to Hannah and she'll put it in a white box across my bottom later. That says hello, John. Now, if you go down the page, you will see there's the early bird still available. Right now, and it says bestseller because it's the only thing I've shown you so far. Oh, no, where's the panel gone? Oh, it's still up there. Of course, it's still up. It did, it, it, yesterday, it did it differently yesterday, didn't it? Anyway, go down. On the left-hand side, you'll see anything that we have played during the show is in sh today's show deal. So as soon as I introduce something and Hannah puts the graphics in, it appears in the left-hand column. But if you need to go out, you need to look at pre-order because that's everything. Now, this isn't uh, Yarn Lane. This is just Sewing Street, right? This is pre-order. So these are all your... Oh, hang on. There's, there's also, there the rabbit on the right hand side, that's the rabbit on the right hand, the cat instruction on their own, and then we've got the cat bundles there. No, it, it just it makes its own mind up, so that's Delphine's first tab. Then this is the Laura Ashley fabric, now I told you it didn't look like the 1970s floral chintz, does it? Very nice, very modern, there's a, there's a mega bundle. Oh, that's the sunflower fabric, is there no mega bundle of Laura Ashley? No, some, no, no, no mega bundle of Laura Ashley. Oh, that one sold out already, look. Already, you've been very quick this morning. Now, Rebecca Reed launched this last week. I loved it. So I asked Hannah if we could have it in the show today. It's beautiful, that blue fabric. Only available in bundles. Some of them are three bundles and then a full bundle just below it. Then we've got the sunflower fabric. Sunflower fabrics. Then, then, now, here we are. Now we're on to Amber Makes. We will keep you updated, but I'm going to tell you, right? So today, we've got the needle case, we've got the sewing case, we've got the tote bag, we've got the clouder of cats, we've got the religious um, window, stained glass window, and there's one other, hang on. Oh, flower pots, flower pots are behind Delphine's head. They're all there. We will keep you updated because they are bound to sell out before we get to Rebecca Reed's hours. Oh, look, something's already gone. Oh, okay, well, keep going then, keep going. Right, so let's, there are the essential tools coming up at 11. Oh, meter six sold out already, look. There, I, I tell you what else will go today, the clapper will go today. Right, these panels, these Care Bear panels in the 11 o'clock hour, brand new today, and they are going already. Hannah's a bit worried they're going to sell out. So, some fabric bundles to go with it. Then, of course, we go to, oh, uh, this is still that hour. Then, of course, that's 1 o'clock. No, that's 12 o'clock. Then we go to Yarn Lane for the 12 o'clock show. Is Yarn Lane, um, uh, it's on pre-order, but on the Yarn Lane website. 
Yarn Lane website. It's baby knits, baby knits. Right, okay, let's get going then. So Delphine's here. She's going to be making the, uh, these cats. I've done everything, haven't I? I've done, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's the uh, black one and the orange one. Uh, she's going to be doing the purple one. Now, they've got their names on, so that's Claude is the black and gold one. Chloe is the um, apricot and orange one. And then Carrie is the one you haven't seen yet. So I'm going to do Carrie first. Oh. Oh, hang on. Our graphics are wrong. The name tags are wrong, right? So let's go, let's go through what the graphics have got, because that's what you will get. Chloe, right, so this is Chloe. Right, okay, $23.99. So what you get here is you get Delphine's instructions. You get half a metre of the orange, half a metre of the apricot. You get toy filling, and that will make Chloe. That's Chloe, the orange one there, that's Chloe. Right, a quarter of the stock have gone on pre-order. I'm presuming you'll need some embroidery thread to do the face with us. Uh, or some, just some black cotton's fine. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. <laughs> right, okay, so that's Chloe. Right, now, the black one, which he's got a tag on him saying he's Claude, but we've called him Carrie. So if you order, yeah, all of the instructions say Chloe on them. We didn't put all three names on there. Okay, this is only $19.99, this one. So you get the lovely gold flower, half a metre. You get your black fabric, half a metre. You get your stuffing, and you get Delphine's instructions. So if you want the black and gold one, you need to have YN6637. Now, this is him, but we Delphine's called him Claude. We've called him Carrie. He's a black and gold cat. Black and gold cat. Okay, then I've got the one you haven't seen yet, so there's no picture of this one, which I'm presuming they've called Claude. <laughs> okay, so you get half a metre of the purple, half a metre of the lavender, and the instructions, plus your stuffing, 19 99 So if you want the purple one, UB6693. Yeah, make sure you, if you're going on the web, make sure you choose the picture of the what, the colour that you like, right? Now, if you want the instructions on their own, because you might have your own stash or your own colourway, you can have the instructions on their own. Here they are. I'll take you through. Nine ninety nine. So, yeah, because yeah, you might want to make it to the cat colour of your choice. If it was Norman and Nelly, I'd be doing them in different colours, wouldn't I? So there you go. Look at the instructions again. Very, very, very thorough. All, as all your pattern pieces, to the right size as well. To the right size. Everything you need there. A lot of pattern pieces on that, aren't there? Tony's ordered all three. Oh, and she's waiting for the clouder of cats. Not the chowder of cats. That's a completely different thing. From, from, well, you don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. You can buy it on pre-order. Oh, so George, she's waiting for it to arrive. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so that's the instructions. Right, before we go to Delphine, I'm just going to tell you about two other projects that Delphine's done in the past. They're behind me, if you love your soft toys. We've got Bella and Friends, right, which are rabbits. Have you got a picture? Oh, hang on, put Bob my head down. There you go. So Bella is the, I've got the pink one here. This is Bella. This is a panel. You do get the instructions as well, but this is a panel. So... Lots of the skills are transferable between the two. Well, I, I'm not allowed to say this to you, but I'm going to say it to you. Before you cut it out, trace off all the pattern pieces, then you've got a pattern. Because there's no pattern pieces in here, are there? Because it's the panel. Right? So, so if, uh, I, if the management's watching, I'll get told off for saying this. But I would trace all of these. Then you've got a Delphine pattern in, in your stash. Anyway, so this is Bella. It was demonstrated on... 21st of October last year. Oh, and the 2nd of November last year. Yeah, yeah, she's got transferable skills between this and the cat. Yeah, exactly. So that's Bella. 
And then I've also got the blue and yellow one. Hmm? A quarter of the stock of Bella has gone already. And then this one is Betty. Betty's in the kind of duck egg blue and beige and yellow. So this is the panel again. You get the panel and you get the instructions. Tw we're not going to be demoing this today. This is just, we're just, because we got these back in stock, we're just showing them you them today. 24 no time. Oh, do you get the stuffing with that? Yeah, 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 you get the filling with that as well. Sorry, I didn't say that. You do get the filling with that as well. The, the um, warehouse, to save, you know, time and bulk, they only send one packet up for me, and I keep forgetting. It's my fault, not theirs. I keep forgetting to tell you about it. Okay, over half of the black cat has gone already. Black and gold. We've called him, uh, on the graphics, he's called Carrie. On the picture, well, it doesn't really matter. Just got, I could just cut that label off. Black cat, black and gold cat is that one. Over half the stock of that one has gone. Right. Good morning, Delphine. Good morning. Your hair looks lovely. Oh, thank you very much. All my roots have all been dyed and tidied up. Oh, so, and did you have yeah. a trim as well? I did. I have all the dead ends all cut off. Oh, so isn't it? Fresh. I mean, it feels, I mean, we don't oh. take it for granted, don't we, haircuts? I know. Bit. Five months was the last time I had it done. Hey. So, yeah, the greys have all been covered up now. I bet the hairdressers yeah. are having a field day with all the... Oh, I know, I mean, yeah. must be, I mean my barber so is in Ulster. It's open till late night now and everything. Yeah. And you have to make an appointment and everything. Yeah, right, so. we've got lots to do, haven't we? Yes, so lots to do. let's get on with it. So, straight to the pattern pieces, though. Um... So the pa this, this is uh, what I've just photocopied from home. So when you do actually uh, by do your pattern, you're going to need some interfacing. Uh, so to some iron-on interfacing, when I've put, for example, the ear, I've put cut four, two reverse. All that means is on the two reverse is to easily re revert, reverse the pattern, just trace on one side of the interfacing, say the the glue side, and then to reverse it, you trace on the non-glue okay. side. Okay, so, so uh, uh, iron on interfacing, you say, medium iron on interfacing? Uh, yeah, just medium. It's it, available on the interfacing. website. And don't be afraid to write all over the, the interfacing as well. So say leg or, uh, and the leave open gaps, for example. I've put them all on there. So um, the leave open gaps mean exactly that. When you come to sew it, those is what you need to leave open to insert foot pads, for example, and also uh, for stuffing as well. So have a good read through the pattern, have a look at your pattern pieces, make sure you're familiar with what's what before you get going. And uh, yeah, I think we're ready to go. Perfect. Um, okay. Margaret says, I love Delphine's work. She oh, also loved you. 1970s Laura Ashley. That Laura Ashley we've got isn't, isn't 1970s. Uh, she thinks I'm looking dapper. Delphine, you look lovely today in that colour, says Crazy Lorraine. Oh, thank you so much. Um, uh, lots. Oh, it's then Susan new. said she's got a Laura Ashley quilt from the 70s that needs to be finished. Kerry from Living in Loveliness says, Morning, lovely John and lovely Delphine. Hello, lovely. Uh, loving Bella, she says. Julie Vaughan says, I've made all three bunnies and I love them. So that's oh, nice, isn't it? That's lovely, Julie. Right. Yeah. Right then, hopefully you'll like the cats as well. Okay, to start with, where are we starting? Okay, so the two side head pieces is where we're going to start. On the on the uh, pattern piece, there is a little mark on where you put the eye, so I tend to just draw it on the other side, and then you'll be able to slightly see through it, so you know that you, when you actually come to put the eyes on, they're not going to be all wonky. Okay, um, okay. I'm just going to say, Laurie says the purple cat's not on the site. The purple cat, is, it is there, isn't it, Hannah? Yeah, it's underneath Laurie, underneath on show deals, and it's now the main graphics as well. Underneath on show deals, not on pre-order anymore. Sorry, Delphine. Okay, so the two side head pieces, uh, I'm going to just sew from the, the tip of the nose down to the bottom here. That's all I'm going to do. Whenever you sew, always start, um, always do a back stitch at the beginning of the end because you don't want any of the stitches coming loose. Let me just move that little thread out of the way. So I'll go straight in and do that seam there. Princess is saying, why should my ears have been burning, John? I was showing them your cats, Princess, and the lovely um, house you're building for your cats. So I was showing Hannah and Emma earlier. Okay, so I've yeah. done that seam, and now I'm going to sew the two darts closed. All the darts are is to give the, the cat that little, uh, to give it the shape in its face. Mm -hmm. So sew those closed. Again, use the back stitch as well. And he's working from home today. Lovely to have Delphine and, and the team to keep me company. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. Is that Wendy Orlando? No, no. it isn't. Wendy, Wendy Orlando won't be up yet. <laughs> I bet she's just heard you say that. Yeah. She'll be hung <laughs> She'll over be... in a gutter somewhere in Brighton. <laughs> I don't think she drinks, does she? Doesn't she? I don't think so. 
There we are. Yeah, no, she says Safe. I don't drink, and then she says, not very often. Oh, right, okay. So not, she's not an abstinence. That looks like Hannah's party bra. <laughs> it does. Oh. <laughs> oh dear okay so that's the two side head pieces you now need your forehead piece make sure you mark the central line it is on the pattern but that's very important to line up all your pieces right. so this is where you're going to need lots of pins so first of all I always pin that center first right sides together and then I will pin the other end and then by doing that you know that your two pieces are going to match up and then you'll fill the rest in with some pins okay um, Laurie said half a sentence we have to finish it off Delphine you look then she hasn't finished the sentence oh so it's either going to say beautiful rough as old boots <laughs> washed out blonde <laughs> well, hopefully it's a nice comment <laughs> now because if it's from Laurie it'd be lovely oh but no, I've got my new top on today, so I thought I'll go Aww. nice and bright today. And okay, so all I've done there is I've pinned down the one side. I find it easier to pin down the one side first uh -huh. and then the other. So take your time and I don't sew over my pins. I take them out as I go. Great. Delphine, you look great. Oh, so thank you. That's very kind. Can Delphine please give us a hint as to where she bought her lovely top? Say, Delphine, where did you buy your top? Scamp and dude. Pardon? Scamp and dude. What on earth is that? It's a really lovely brand. It's a it's a lady who um, I think it was her son who had cancer, and uh, this is just off the top of my head. This is uh, really bad. I should I should have rehearsed this before. No no know. no, because you didn't know I was going to ask you. Uh, and uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's all inside the seam. It says a superhero has your back. So it was all based oh, on the back of. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, yeah, so they've always got uh, lightning bolts and stars. Scamp and, and dude. dude. And do they yeah. do boys things as well? Or uh, girls yeah, girls? they do loads of kids' clothes. Oh, okay. And uh, really bright jumpers. So it's all bright and fun. Yeah. So. Am I too old? Um, yeah. No. Okay, I'll take the pause as a <laughs> yes. That's right. We'll move on. Wendy Orlando's, um, excuse me, Mr. Scott. I was up with the lark. Delphine is looking stunning today. And John, you look dot, dot, dot. Willow says, loving the fun this morning, drinking my coffee before work, always puts a smile on my face. Geraldine, loads of messages. Geraldine says, John and Delphine, I thought I couldn't watch today because I was in work. Got there, but I'm not in till tomorrow. Oh, oh Delphine, no. that must be so annoying. <laughs> uh, Susan says, I love Delphine's hair. Oh, thank you very much. I've got oh. a very nice hairdresser. Was it irregular? Was it somewhere near us? It, yeah, she's just in, just in Leamington. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got out of the village then? I, I know, I got out of the village. I don't go to Leamington very often. Like I say, you've just, we're pretty self contained where we are. So, yeah. uh, no, no, there's not a hairdresser in your village, though, is there? Uh, there is, but okay. she was my friend. I've known her for years. Oh, you so, don't want her touching your hair. But she used to um, work out of a garage. Okay. And um, and now she's got her own place in oh, nice. Leamington. Just, just her. Yeah. But she's really good, very kind as well. Uh, good morning, Delphine and John. You always break my Dales. Delphine, you look gorgeous. And Ooh. pink really suits you. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to wear this. I'm going to get another one in yeah. every colour. <laughs> John, you never look too old. You're never too old. Good morning. Oh, and she's saying good, good morning to Wendy. Um, Susan says, morning, everyone. Yet again, Delphine knocks it out the park with these cats. When oh. does she get the time to have a normal family life? Oh, we oh. met your little one, didn't we? Oh, no. Yeah, I bought in Louis, didn't yeah. I? But he was chatting oh, you away to, to you. The you were like, not cushions, what's those things Oh, called? the balloons. Balloons. Like, oh, he'd love those. Uh, what were you saying? Um, About your little one? I was, I was saying that Louis was chatting to you. He wouldn't stop talking, Oh, he? he's, ador he's adorable. <laughs> he's a little cutie yeah. pie, isn't we were, he? They came in and it was in a, in a break, you know, in the, and in the break we have to pack everything up. So he walked in and I went, Louis, take these, take these. So he piled <laughs> him up with all the stuff to take on the trolley. But I didn't say to him, put them on the trolley. <laughs> so we finished everything off, right? And they were getting ready to go. And he was like, Mum. And he still had this pile of, like, wadding and eau de coat and 505 spray. Bless him. He was, sat, he was in the doorway looking through the glass and he says, Mummy, it's the man on the telly. Oh. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it's John. I thought he'd go really shy, but he didn't. He wasn't shy at all. He wasn't. And he's a good no. footballer, isn't he? He's a, good he's a very footballer. good footballer. He's yeah. one to watch, yeah. And how old is he? 
five. <laughs> he's only little. He's only a little thing. He's isn't really he? small for his age. Oh, is is, I wouldn't know. Is he small for five? Can, well, my my eldest Charlie, he was premature, and uh, he looks. He's in like an age eleven to twelve. And how old is he? Nine. Oh, crikey! And he's, we had to get him measured for some new football boots the other day. Seven and a half. Oh, and so it's an size adult six. size now. Yeah, I know, and it costs a lot more money as well. Yeah, because you know little Paul, yeah. he buys children's trainers. Oh, does he? He doesn't have to pay oh, the ATM on them. <laughs> yeah, Hannah does, but you wouldn't, you'd expect you to have delicate little feet, Hannah, but not little Paul. Uh, morning, everyone. Oh, no, I've done that one, sorry. I've read that one, sorry. I'll shut up. Message on our bottom. It's very busy, message-wise, this morning. Love the show and the presenters. Do you need to interface all the pieces? That's the next question I was going to ask, Mrs. Christina. Also, how big is the cat, please? Lots of love for Christina. Right. Did you interface all the pieces? To yes, I did. With? Absolutely all of them. All of them, and I didn't measure them. Uh, you can get I'm... them. There. They're up there behind you, and you've got a metre stick behind you. Do you, want, do you want which way? With it that way or sat down? Standing up. Do it, let's just do it. We could do it like a child's. There you go. So I'll do it with that. With it standing up, it's 49 centimetres. 49 centimetres when it stands up top to bottom and, and sitting down. Sit down. About 32, 33. 32 centimetres. Thank you. There we are. Oh. So all I've done with the ears, I took the two ear pieces and I sewed them right sides together and then I folded it. And I've just trimmed off any excess as well and then folded it and then uh, give it a bit of a press. So that's my front of my face and here's your ears. Now, there's two different ways you can put the ears. Um, I have actually written this in the instructions. You can, there's no right or wrong way. You can, because they're not symmetrical, you see. So you can have them like that, so they're a bit wider, or you can have them this way. So it's just your personal oh, preference. Oh, I see it makes a different cat. It does, makes it, gives it. How funny, just by take, changing the. That's it. So all you're going to do is, if you want your pattern piece uh, facing the uh, cat, which is what I do want, I'm going to have that just touching the fabric. So what I'm going to do is, you want it about, I don't know, about a quarter of an inch, half an inch, just away from that seam. But you can have them either way, can't you? Because you've done the black cat with the, with the yeah. black bit facing, but you've done the orange cat with the orange bit facing. And the same with the arms as well. There's no right or wrong way. It depends on if you want the thumbs up or thumbs down. There's no right or wrong way. Uh, half the stock of every single cat has gone so far in the bundles. And the black cat, fewer than 20 of those now. Okay, I'm just trimming that little dog ear off there. Would it not be a cat ear? If you're trimming <laughs> it off the should dog have ear. been. I should have said that, shouldn't I? No, because then people would cut the ear off then. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I just pinned, be careful. I pinned myself. Okay, so I'm just putting a few pins in there because all I'm going to do, you can hand stitch this little bit, you know, just do a little tacking stitch. That's all I'm doing. It's just so it's a lot easier when you sew through all of the layers. So all I'm going to sew is as close to the edge as I possibly can, maybe about an eighth of an inch. Uh, so when I do sew the back of the headpiece on, those these stitches will be <coughs> hidden. So it's just to secure it into place to stop it from going anywhere. So I'm going to do that to both ears. Uh, yes, you can buy the Angela. You can buy the pattern on its own. You can buy the pattern on its own. That's perfect. Right. We'll put the graphics in for you now. It'd be quite a nice one to do when you do uh, memory bears and things. It's quite nice. So you could do it. Uh, as oh a yeah, memory definitely. cat. Oh, I do a memory Norman and Nelly. Hmm. There we are. And so that's the front of the face done. There we are. So then you just check that it's uh, it's starting to look like a cat now. So that's yeah. the front of its head. Yeah, because all cats are purple and floral, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Susan says, my granddaughter will love the purple one. So the back of the headpiece, you're going to have your two uh, pattern pieces. All you're going to do is right sides together. Now there is a leave open gap. You make sure you don't sew all the way down because you're going to need that for two. But I've seen that, it already says that on the pattern. So I'm going to sew from the top yeah. to that bottom mark. Make sure you backstitch it because that needs to be quite a strong seam. And then just like you did with the front of the uh, front head pieces, close the darts. Right, very quickly while you're doing that, somebody wants to see the cat close up, here it is. I've got the orange one off for you. 
Okay, I love the way the arms are a little bit floppy like that. But the tail isn't, look. Right, okay, I've got to do a quick roundup, Delphine, if that's right, because yep. they're flying out. So, okay, the orange cat here, when you've all checked out, I've got fewer than 20 of those. We're going to call them by their colours rather than their names. So the orange one, the graphics are in now. That's this one. There's fewer than 20 of those left, and that's at 25 to 9 on Wednesday morning. The black cat, which is the, the pit that we can show you on the shelf. Ignore his name. We're just going with black cat because the names have got confused. Okay, there are more people got it in their basket than we've got available. Uh, there's only single figures available, and there's like nearly 30 people got it in their basket, so that's, gonna, that's today's bestseller. Right, purple, which is the one Delphine's working on now. $19.99. Me. No, no, I was waiting for you to speak because you took a deep breath, so I was waiting for a sentence to come out. Nothing. Oh, she was about to, okay, no, that's fine. Because when Hannah's going to talk, she takes a deep breath. So I was waiting for a sentence, like, get on with it, John, or something like that, you know. And then she went silent, but sorry, she was going to sneeze. Oh, more people in baskets than we've got the purple one, so please check out. Pattern on its own. What's the matter? Two-thirds of the stock of the pattern on its own has gone. I forgot to say, you do get the, when you buy the kit, you do get stuffing as well. Oh, I shouldn't have put that on the floor because it's not going there. Right, okay. Right, sorry, Delphine, off you carry on. It's all right. So all I've done is close those darts on the back head piece and now I'm going to, I've just pinned the back head piece to the front head piece, right sides together. The two seams you need to line up is the seam from the back, this is the back of the head. And then remember when I said about the forehead piece that you need that centre mark. Yep. So those what you, all you need to line up. First pin in the centre, then the ends, and then fill in between. Now I'm going to sew all the way around. With a quarter inch seam, so those seams for the ears will be hidden when I turn it right sides out. Um, Claire, so I've joined halfway through. I was wondering what you are making. Thank you for showing the cats. That's all right, Claire. Uh, <clears throat> Hannah's bikini top has come along quite nicely, hasn't it, Jenny? Um, and then, good morning, John Delphine. Everyone, the cats are so cute from Pam Mini Harney. Pam, if you want one, you need to be quick. Oh, I've only actually got the orange one left now. Yeah, purple, check out. You need to check out. There we go. So I'm going to turn that right sides out. And then... Check all your seams that you've caught everything. If you haven't, then you can just turn it back the wrong way. And But no, that's looking pretty good. There we are. You've got a cat's head. Cute. So leave that, turn the right side out, and then just put that to one side. I think now, that's my favourite one, the purple one. I really like the purple one. Yeah. It's really pretty. So you've now got your two back pieces here. So all you're going to do, well, the two sides, because there's two sides and a front. So you need to lay those right sides together. Now, all you're going to sew, oh, no, I've already done my tail. I've jump, jumped ahead. So your two tail pieces, you'll simply sew them right sides together and make sure you leave a gap for turning, uh, for stuffing later. So all you're going to do with your tail is open out the seams so those two seams meet there like that and then your two back pieces you're going to pin if you want to pin in between the two back pieces there is a mark that says where you go the, the placement guide of where you want to put your put your tail uh -huh. and you can put a pin in it if you want to or you can just hold it, I'm just going to hold it. Now you can choose to have your tail up or you can have your tail down. I've done it on each one differently to show that it can be done different ways. And all I'm going to do then is sew that back seam, leaving that open because you're going to need that for turning. Right. So a really strong stitch is going to be needed there. Uh, Lynn's woken up. She can't believe they've woken up to snow blizzards today. Whereabouts are you, Lynn? Don't say Reddit or anywhere near yeah. Reddit. <laughs> Although I did see on the weather app today, it's going to be hailstorms in, oh. in Here, today? 
Um, well, it is where we are. Oh. So, yeah. Just in time for the school run at uh, nice. 3 o'clock. But then my in-laws are coming to down today to help with the boys so they can go and fetch them. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. So there's your tail encased in those in, in between the um, side pieces. And close your darts just like you did with the headpiece. So they're your bottom cheeks. That's, your, boss, that's your bum cheeks, okay. yeah. Okay. So give them a quick... So. Oh, who's that from? Who's that from? Okay, collection going to London says, I'm just ordering the top that Delphine's wearing. Does the truck, does the size come up true to size or is it slightly smaller or large? <laughs> I love it. I'm a size 12 and it fits quite nice. And did you buy a size 12? I bought they? a size 12. Oh, okay, they yeah. come small, medium and large. Yeah. Like, okay. So yeah. they come up true to, well, come up slightly, um, f not full, what's the word I'm looking for? Generous, generous. Yeah, so I don't, because I don't not like, tight, I it? don't like tight no. clothes and I like them to be a little bit baggy. Right. So yeah, it's, it's nice. <laughs> Love it. And what's it called again? Scamp and Dude. Scamp and Dude. But I like the fact it's got a backstory to it. Yeah, you know to it's me, got a lovely it. backstory. So I'm going to move that to one side. Now you've got your two leg pieces. Remember, there's lots of leave open marks on there. So make sure you mark them on yeah. your pattern. So leave your leave this bit, this bit, and that bit open. So the rest. And love says, "Morning, all sunshine here in Doncaster." Oh, lovely! I know I might buy another one of these now. These top. I think they've they got come it. in other colours. There's a blue one that's really nice. <laughs> we'll just ring them later for our commission. I'm going to. I'm going to tag them. I think. Yeah. <laughs> You're becoming an influencer. <laughs> uh, three inches of snow in Aberdeen this oh, morning. Oh, really? Wendy Orlando says, I love the purple cap. What a genius way to insert the tail. Delphine always makes it look very easy and fun. Well, yes, mm -hmm. that is so. very true. So oh, I'm in a box again now. I'm back now. Oh, I'm a bit low. So check your seams. And now we're going to insert the foot pad. So again, it's not a complete full circle. It does uh, come in a little bit. So make sure you mark what's the top and what's the bottom. Yeah. So the top bit is where you put the toes, right sides together. Now, a little tip for those that do make a lot of toys. When we come to pin, you always start at the top and then just go round. And then you find you get lots of puckers. But a little tip, if you first do the top, then pin the bottom. So imagine 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Yeah. Now do your 3 o'clock and your 9 o'clock. Okay. That's a good way of describing it. And it says, lovely to have you two both together. Got the cat pattern. Is there a pattern for the rabbits behind you? No, Angie, I've got a panel for the rabbits, but I haven't got a pattern for the rabbits. It comes with an instructions, but it comes as a panel, the rabbits. I'll, I'll be recapping those in a minute. And Jill says, I'm just checking out the Scamp and Dude website. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine because I think when it's got a, like the story behind it, I think it's absolutely fine. If we were just sitting here going, go to a main high street store. But no, no, yeah. it's uh, no, it's definitely not a big high street store. No. Um, They'll be wondering why. They'll suddenly get, because we mentioned Mark Francis's website on air the other day. And he said, have you just been talking about me? And I said, why? He said, because I've just had an alert to say loads of people have just gone to my website. I haven't got that on my website. I don't know if people are going, coming or going. So I've done all the pins. Right, okay. Let's so once you've done piece, your 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, do the in-betweens. Yeah. And then that's a perfect way of inserting your foot pad and it's not going to uh, buzz around. And when you sew it, sew it with the foot pad down on your plate. And then needle down, turn it when you need to. Move the leg out of the way. Nearly done. The last little bit there. Let's sew over that bit. I'm rushing, but if at home, just take your time on that bit. And then you put it off. Check all your seams. There's a tiny little bit there that I've missed. So all I'm going to do is go back on. That'll do. Anyway, and then you'll trim off any excess. 
tidy it all up. You, you have to snip into it. You'd snip into the seams yeah. or just trim off any other bits, but you know, we were up against the clock, so I'm just going to show you how it's all inserted. Okay, and then turn the right sides out, give it a bit of a press. I like to give them a bit of a press, especially where the leave open gaps are for when you're going to stuff it, because oh right. it stops them from fraying and it's a lot makes it a lot tidier when you come to Well, also, them. if you press it, you've already pressed the seam allowance in, haven't you? So when you come yeah. to your ladder stitch, you've got your two crisp edges perfect. to catch That's it, yeah. it's exactly that. Yeah. yeah, you explained it much better than me. <laughs> so yeah, a lot longer than you have. You'd uh, just open it out, just like John said, you'd press that so it's nice and closed, so it's nice and tidy seam then for when you come and do your stitching. Okay, so now you're going to take your front body piece, the two legs, one that I prepared earlier, open out the seams just like you did with the tail so those two seams meet, and then you're going to see on the front body piece where you're going to be placing your legs. So you just pop those there, a little pin if you want to, and I'll just do the other one nice and quickly as well. And then just tack those into place the same way as you did with the ears. So I'm not going to pin that one, I'm just going to go straight to the machine. Message for Christine from Christine saying, very envious, how can one fabulous lady be so talented from Christine in Denbyshire? Oh, that's so lovely, thank you. Aww. A lovely bunch. Oh, they went to them talking about Emma and Hannah, not you, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> there we are, some legs. Oh. So now we need to hide that seam and give it a bum. So you're going to have your bottom piece, and right. all you're going to hang do. Hang on, hang on, there you go. So you have your bottom piece there, right sides together, and make sure you sew with a quarter inch seam so it hides those stitches. Right here. So you can pin it, but it's only a straight stitch, you just line it up. There we are. Keep losing my pedal. All the way to the end. Okay, so then that's the front of the body done. There. Okay, so now we need to give it some arms. I've already made one. I'll show you how they go together. So you'll have your forearm piece and your arm piece. And then you're going to, on your hand, so all you're going to do is sew those right sides together. So why like did you do some going up and some going down? Or the all of yours going down? Just to show that it doesn't really matter, because I think people, it doesn't, the way you have the, the arms, you can, do you know what I mean? So you could have the arms like that, or like that, or like that, or like that. Okay. <laughs> My cats didn't have thumbs. But it's it's not real. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> oh, this is in real life though, is it? Because I keep saying in real life this doesn't happen. <laughs> so you'd give these. You'd definitely give these little um, seams a press. Open. You, uh, press them open. Yeah. I'm just gonna just finger press them. So the other one that I've just made, I'll. So right sides together, leave them the bottom and the side turning gap as indicated on the pattern open. Oh, nice. And sew all the way around. What's the matter, Emma? Oh, oh, sorry. We can't hear anything in here today. We're just talking about the people upstairs. Normally the noise the noise the last few days they'll be upstairs. Have they? And it's quite quiet today. I'd say it's quiet, but apparently they're over Hannah and Emma, so they can hear them oh, over really? that end today. And then the other one. And then just have a little, little check. So I'm not happy with that little bit there, so I'm just going to go back and give it a quick. And then turn the right way out through the turning gap. So the gaps are plenty big enough, so it's nice and easy to turn through. And then the hand piece. There you go. Oh, Jackie said they had a cat that had five toes on each front paw. We called her posh paws. I can't remember. No, I think they, they normally have the pad and then three. Three. Yeah, that's how I. Yeah. Because I was going. I was thinking about putting foot pads on them. Oh, you've so done top stitching to make three. So I've it? made them. I made them like claw. I've, I've said claw. Yeah, you've got four. Oh, I know. Yeah, hang on, Norman. I don't have, have a cat, so. 
I can't remember now. Anyway. So there we are. There's the uh, hands. And then you'd press them open, press the seams just as you would the legs so they're nice and tidy for when you come and do the... Lisa stitches. Lamb, gorgeous sunny morning in Brighton. Love how presenter and designer are colour coordinating. Your top is awesome, Delphine, oh, says Lisa Lamb. Oh, thank you. I'm going to wear it more. I'm going to get another one, I think. So you cross. So you want the arms to be about about half an inch from the top of the neck piece. Cross the arms over and then just tap them into place, just as you would the um, the ears and mm. the legs. So you can put a pin in it and take your time. I'm just going to quickly. It's just so that out the way when you come and sew the back piece of the body on and. Do you never, when you make an end like this, do you never ever stuff the limbs before you sew them? I do, but I, it's for, um, I do them like this just because it's just easier to, 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 if you don't do toys all the time, right? Um, it's quite hard to get the shape right. So uh, this is just so it's it for more for everybody. Oh, no, no, I, I, so, wasn't, I wasn't yeah. crazy. I was just, because other toy makers like Joe Carter, she would do, stuff her legs, yeah. leave the inch at the top with nothing and then... But then it means when you're putting the, the limbs inside really, the body, you've got a, your body's it's really it. it's a lot, and it's a lot of bulky. So if you haven't got a lot of throat space on your machine, yeah. it's really hard to push them through. But at least doing it this way, I think it's easier for everyone to actually achieve it at the end. So there's a little bit more hand sewing involved, but oh, a five clawed cat is called a polydactyl. Apparently, I thought that was one of those flying dinosaurs, wasn't it? Our cat had five on the front and six on the back, so we called her Twinkle Toes after the character in the terrible live action Thomas the Tank Engine film. Oh, I say. So I'm pinning the back body piece to the front body piece. The only two seams you need to line up is the corner of the front body and the seam at the back where near where the tail is. So again, just like you do the, um, the forehead, I find it easier to do one side first. Make sure you're not going to catch any of the arms or the tail or anything mm -hmm. as you're going around. And take your time pinning. There we go. And one more there. So I'm going to uh, go and sew down the one side and then I'll pin and sew, sew the other side. So I'm going to do this one first and then I'll come and do this one. Okay. So back stitch as well. So you're going to be handling that bit quite a lot when you come to put the head in. And just around the bottom. Like I said, be careful you're not going to catch anything as you're moving it round. And then just stop at that centre point and then do the other side. This is a good time for you to just have a quick check of your seams that you've caught them all. I'm quite happy with that. So then I'm going to just do the exact same thing to the to the other side. Oh, oh, oh. You can find it. If I can find it. There we are. Okay. I've got arms and legs and tails everywhere. Look, there they are. And use that turning gap as well to your advantage, just so it just sticks out, so it's less bulky. There's another pin, pop that in there. You're very quiet, John. It's Hannah's chunnering away in my ear, so uh, I can't... Yeah, just to herself, not to tell me anything, <laughs> so I'm letting you get on. I was actually sitting here thinking, You've, we've given you a shorter hour because I had the early bird and I had the panel and you've almost sewn the whole thing together in that amount yeah, of time. Yeah, nearly done it. Yeah. I'm gonna, we're going to carry on, by the way. So, I mean, we don't oh, have really? to go a little okay. bit over because it's only me in the next hour, isn't it? Yeah. There we are. Oh, no, oh morning, says quick. Sue. John and Delphine, never oh, had a cat yeah. before, so this will be my first. Hopefully my dog, Tinkerbell, won't mind. Lovely demo, can't wait to make her. Oh. oh, that's nice. Carol says good morning, everyone. Morning. Not making life easy for myself by going across. No, off. exactly. <laughs> Just 
missed a tiny little bit there. I'll quickly go over that. Okay, so what you would do is you'll turn it round the other way just to make sure that it's, uh, you know, it right sides out. Just check all your seams, but mm -hmm. I'm, fairly, I'm fairly confident they're okay. So I'm just going to show you how to insert the head now. So with the body piece wrong sides out and the head piece right side out, what you need to do is make sure you've marked on the front of the body that centre mark because that's what you're going to line up with this nose seam here. So you, what you need to do is put the whole head inside the body, lining up that seam. So just have a quick look, making sure you're not going to sew the dart to the centre seam. And just like you did with the body piece, so you're using less pins, so you're not going to keep stabbing yourself when it's in the machine. So mark up the centre line, and then one of the ends, and then in between. Do one side first, then the other, then the other side. And Tony says, morning from very, very sunny Rochester in Kent. Claire, if you look back at the conversation, you'll see all about Delphine's top further up here. <laughs> yeah, I can't go through it again. It's, uh, yeah, just keep going up and watch the chat further up. Okay. And I should put a take a photo of it and tag it on my Instagram. Yeah. I might get a freebie. <laughs> I mean, that's not why we do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's just nice and pretty. Also, now you're a celebrity. No. You have to tell the tax man when you get freebies. Just so you know. Do you get a lot of freebies? No. Yeah? I get a lot of lovely gifts. get a lot of lovely gifts, but I don't get a lot of freebies. Um, only, I only know that because when we used to work at Rocks and Go, there was another presenter. I would get bought all the weird and wonderful like little statues made of aventurine and she'd get great big like aquamarines and sapphires and everything. Oh, for lovely. Her. I know. She was very, I won't say who she is, but it was very funny because one man bought her a ring and she messaged him back going, I don't like that one. Can I have this one? Instead, <gasps> it was more expensive. <laughs> really? I know. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so... Because I, I do want to show you the next stage, yes, I am please. doing quite. I am doing this quite quick, but at home, take your time. This is the. Um, I wouldn't even say it's tricky. It's just a matter of just having a little bit of patience and just yeah. lining it all up. But I just want to quickly jump ahead to the next bit. So I'm just going to just go for it. I'm just going to okay. put it on. So as long as the head doesn't fall off, it'll be all right for the next. <laughs> yeah, but you're you're not at home. You're doing it for pleasure. You're not doing it to rush through it like we are at the moment. Oh no, me! Hi, John and Delphine. I've just bought the pattern. My family are breeding like mad, so it'll make great gifts. <laughs> So pull the head out yeah. and remember that little gap that we had at the back? So you're going to need that for turning. So all you're going to do is line up the next seam and just close the back dark. Make sure it's nice and strong so it doesn't fall apart. It's like a wet rag at the moment. <laughs> it does. Like yeah, lovely project. Looks like a wet, wet rag. <laughs> And then, just that little bit there. That said, I'm doing it quite quick, so it's not my neatest sewing, but okay. And then turn the right way out. Put its arms, put its legs. Oh, you see now, th different bag makers call this bit birthing, like I always call it bagging through. <laughs> oh. That really is like birthing, <laughs> isn't it? Bagging out, what pe most people call bagging it bagging out, out but um, some bag makers call this birthing. No, that's not bad. There we are. Here's your little pussycat. So there she is. 
just needs right. a bit of life put into it. So I'm just going to show you how to do the face. So, right, yeah. Um, each, um, each limb, obviously, you'd stuff separately. Yeah. Um, and then you've got your ladder stitch to stitch them close. I have put a diagram in the instructions of how you actually do the ladder stitch, but it's really easy. You only want to get a couple of threads of the, the fabric when you're when you're doing it, you don't need to have loads. When you do to come to the stuffing, do it in bits. Don't be tempted to get loads and put it all in at once because right. you won't get the right shape. And it, it's all, almost like it gets blocked. And then you're pulling it out and putting it back in again. Also, you'd be surprised how much it takes to stuff a, a, an animal like this, doesn't it? Yeah, and try and keep it symmetrical as you possibly can when, you, when you're doing it. You're, uh, so you have a quick have a look and then do a little adjustments as you go. But because we are going to be sewing um, the, f the facial features, you want them to be quite, you want the face to be really packed tightly. Okay. So do a little bit more. So you can see why you really do need to make sure that that turn that leave open gap for turning you do need to reinforce those stitches at yeah. the start and stop because you're going in and out of it quite a lot so you don't want to undo all that sewing okay so i'm just going to make sure there's plenty in the the nose bit one little bit more how many more minutes have we got please Oh, okay, you've got seven minutes. We're going right over. Oh, wow. I need, I need some of that time to talk about the um, roundup and everything, but. I'll say I'm nearly done. Obviously, the, the, the stuffing stage actually takes longer than you think. Yeah. So, um, at home, take your time with it and, you know, make sure you get the right shape. The arms and legs are pretty self-explanatory, but when you, sew, when you come and stuff the legs, stuff the legs quite tightly in the feet area, but looser towards the top yeah and the same with the arms otherwise you won't get that floppy look and I'll put the last bit in and that'll do for the for okay. me to be able to show you how to do it okay so have a bit of a play around just to get the, the shape imagine I've stuffed it all now and then uh -huh. we're going to give it a face okay so I've got some thread now I've got a needle that I saw over here, so I'm going to borrow the needle. Which one should I have? The one with the biggest die. Yeah. So you'll do all of the, the smile before you put the nose on, because you're going to hide your stitches underneath its nose. Okay. So have you got a different fabric for the nose then? I've just used a bit of felt or you can use, uh, for example, uh, just using the lilac would look nice for that. Oh, okay, that's fine. So if you're going to use craft eyes or buttons for its eyes, then do put those on before you um, sew the back head piece to the front head piece. Okay, so I've got just some basic black cotton. So I'm going to go in at its nose. This is to give it its smile. Make sure you've got, I'll just go in and out a couple of times just so you know that's nice and strong. Now you're going to go down this centre seam, this, this nose seam here. You go in and then you could use a little fabric marker to decide where you want the smile to go. And then put the pin out the other side and then you pull it nice and tight like that. Right. You go back in where you came out and then out the other side of the cheek and then you go back in and then you'll go up the other side. Okay. Like that. <laughs> it's got a bit of a wry smile that one. <laughs> yeah. So and then to do the whiskers the same you'd go in I might run out of thread. I needed to have a longer thread, really. And you'll go back in that way, out one side. Oh, I see. And then back in, back out the other side. And then in. 
obviously if you've got I I have used friction pens just to mark where I want to put them in and just light yeah. the iron over the top and then you just tie it off so that's how you do your whiskers the okay. same with the eyelashes you'll do that exactly the same way and then you'll just cut out so that's a little bit of felt is this it, is right? just a little bit of felt this is just what I had at home um, you give it a little eye there. There's felt on the website if you want to get so if you haven't got any felt at home. Or any type of buttons or yeah. black fabric, anything will will do. I don't even know if these are symmetrical. I'm just doing it by eye. Oi oi. If you uh, get it? <laughs> oh. Anna says that's fine because she hasn't got <laughs> symmetrical eyes either. There we are. So they're not symmetrical, but they're there you go. Yeah. And then the nose. I have given you a template of uh, the Oh okay, brilliant. And so you just cut a basic triangle out. You can have big nose, small nose, but in eyes as well. I, with the eyes on the ones that I've done, I've even sewn a few little white stitches so it's got a little glisten to yeah. its eye. And I've even given it a bit of makeup. Use oh, a bit you? of bit of blusher for oh, its yeah. cheeks. Have you used your own blusher for that? Thing? I have, yeah. <laughs> and then I suppose it all depends on what you're making it for. Cause some of them, some people make it, don't they, and have it sitting. Like the ones I've got at home, sit around the house as like kind of ornaments sort of thing. Yeah. But if you're going to give it to a child, then you have to think about it. you don't want to do buttons or, or, or That's craft it, yeah. eyes if they're under three. Or maybe that you, you might want to catch those um, whiskers down with other stitches because you don't want the child to get their finger caught in them and things like that. Just just think about who it's, who it's going to, who it's been gifted to. And there you go. So uh, I'll just show you one or two stitches of just putting the eyes on and then... And that you can see the face comes together quite nicely. It's quite a, quite a pretty face actually. And Salati, yes, you can't buy the pattern. It's the one that's the graphics that are in at the moment. Is that right? Yeah. Graphics are in the moment to just the pattern on its own. And then just a quick example of how you sew the eyes on. Uh, exactly can I just tell you, we haven't read them all out, but there's loads and loads of Delphine love messages coming oh, in. Oh, is there? Oh, I'll have a read of them when yeah. I finish. So you just put the eye. Don't worry, we won't show the horrible ones. Oh, yeah, I don't want to see horrible. <laughs> no, there weren't any. Don't say it like that. I'm only joking. And then you just... Who could, who could write anything horrible about you? Oh, Do you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, apart from your in-laws, I mean, you know, people like that. <laughs> they were always writing in. So Asking us to employ her more so she's not at home. <laughs> I'll have words of Ursula later. Oh, Ursula. Oh, we didn't have a name. She didn't give her a name. <laughs> oh, I love that name, Ursula. Uh, we call her Ursh. 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 I went to school with a girl called Ursula. She, yeah. We were all terrified of her. She used to beat all the boys up. I loved her. <laughs> Did she, she didn't beat you up then, John? No, she liked me. She liked me. Oh, no one laughs at my jokes either, Delphine. Oh, did <laughs> she say a joke that I didn't laugh at? Yeah. <laughs> did you I didn't hear you? I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, what did I say? Something about my eyes aren't symmetrical. Oh, no, Hannah was too busy oh. going, not everybody's no. got symmetrical eyes, you know, Delphine. No, I said, my eyes aren't symmetrical, I'm just doing it by, uh, by eye. And then oh, I went, by eye? Oh, I'm no. sorry. I missed that. <laughs> I, was, I thought I was being quite quick-witted then. No, you were, but that Hannah was going on about her eyes being wonky as well. There you go, so that's one eye on. Perfect, don't bother And you just do the other one. eye and put the nose on, stuff the rest, ladder stitch, give it a bit of blusher, off you go. Perfect. There she is. Now, uh, you're not doing another hour. No, I'm not. No, not today. So you're going home for your morning coffee now, then? I'm going home to finish designing what I'm making for next Monday. Oh, OK. <laughs> so, I've, so yeah, busy day. OK, perfect. Yeah. So you're back next Monday. Oh, I that'll am. be with Rebecca Reed, not with me. Then. I am with Rebecca, but then I think I'm with you before the month's out. Anyway. Oh, OK, perfect. Yeah. Thank you no, ever so thank much. You. That was brilliant. And, uh, right, all I've got to recap is that, is that instructions on their own, everything else is sold. OK, now the instructions have got more in baskets than we've actually got stock of. So but I've got the bunnies. I've got the bunnies. Right. Now, these were done last year, November and December last year. We've got um, Bella first, which is the pink one. What on this one's a bit different. You don't get a pattern on this one. You get a panel with everything, all the pieces already on there. So they're already, the fabrics were decided for you. They're already designed for you. All you need to do is cut them out and sew them together. Half the stock of these gone, you get this, you get this, and you get the stuffing. Okay, oh, oh, what, on the cat kits? Right, I need to say to you, on the cat kits, 
There's, there's about five, between five and nine not checked out of each one, but there's way more people in baskets. So if you're thinking, oh, I've missed out, if you've got it in your basket, you can still have a chance to get it, but be really, really quick. Right, so that one's Bella. And then I've got Betty. Okay, so here's Betty. That's the blue and yellow one. You get the stuffing, the instructions, and uh, the panel. £24.99. Right, take the graphics out because I need to tell you something now. Uh, in an hour's time, Rebecca Reed, who is half of Amber Makes, is on the show. And we're doing um, all of their bestsellers, volume one, part one today. So we're going to be doing the tulips. We're going to do the sewing case. We're going to do the needle case. We're going to be doing the stained glass window. We're doing the cloud of cats. We're doing the... There's one more. I've said tulips. Done said tone case. It's like a generation game, isn't it? And said needle case. What's the one on the bottom, second shelf furthest away from me? Bag, tote bag, tote bag, tote bag. Right, now at the moment they're all on pre-order, but Hannah is now putting them through onto the main show deals now. So in a minute I'll show you when she's ready, before we go for a break, I'll show you. Are we ready? Okay, so if you now go to the website, www sewingstreet.com click on watch the show live then what you do is scroll down oh hang on I've just got to refresh it hang on hang on sorry right okay now scroll down scroll down scroll down oh they're not appearing yet oh, okay so that didn't <laughs> that didn't work they will all appear there during the break on today's show deals they're no longer on pre-order they're now on uh, today's show deal or they'll appear there during the break but 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 before that before that before that i've got an hour of brand new laura uh, well not an hour 45 minutes of brand new laura ashley fabrics and the sunflower fabrics and some blue and white fabric we'll see you in three from now <laughs> Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw from Sewing Street and these are my five top tips for successful sewing. So, number one, always use a good quality thread. A good quality thread will keep your seam stronger and also help to prevent lint building up inside your sewing machine. Tip number two, if your project isn't going quite according to plan, put it down, walk away from it, come back again the next day and you'll probably find that things don't seem half as bad as they did. My tip number three, never throw away your sewing machine manual. Always keep it to hand because you're going to find hints and tips, techniques and troubleshooting in that manual. You'll miss it if you lose it. My tip number four is to read your pattern instructions before you even cut out your fabric. Different manufacturers of patterns will give you different instructions, different ways of constructing your garments and different seam allowances. So to have a successful garment, you need to follow the instructions precisely. And then tip number five is don't give up. Every professional sewer sewed their first seam. Every professional quilter quilted their first quilt. Every professional quilter sewed their first line of wonky stitches and had to get out the quick and pick. That's no different to you. So I hope you find these useful. We'll see you soon. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young, doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.
Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. All of Amber Makes is now on the show deal side of the website, not on pre-order. So if you want the tulips, the sewing case, the needle case, the stained glass window, the tote bag, the cloud of cats, that's it. Uh, they're all on, on the website now. They're all, oh, we're going to the website now. So go to the website, click on watch live, scroll down, show deals, there they all are. The needle cases are incredibly, incredibly, incredibly popular. Okay, right. Now we're gonna now when you think of Laura Ashley, don't you think of little ditzy prints in like blues and sage greens and lovely flowy cottons and things like that. Well, she's changed. Well, it's not her anymore, is it? My friend Anne used to be the design coordinator for Laura Ashley. That was her job when she left the BBC. Anyway, look at these. You wouldn't say that they were Laura Ashley. They're very contemporary. They're very lovely. Now, you will have seen this one and this one on Sunday with me and Rebecca Harrison and a couple of others you've seen in, on other days. But this is the complete range. Now, I haven't got a mega bundle of it. I've just got them by the half metre because I, th I think you're either going to like one section or another section. So rather than doing a mega bundle of them all, we've just kept them as half meters because I think you're more likely to buy these for projects, you know what I mean, rather than buying a whole, whole stash of them. And they're more dressmaker, I'd say they're more dressmakery than they are quilty. They're still quilting weight cottons. If you want to quilt with them, you can do, but I just think the patterns make the, that just make them veer more towards um, dressmaking or, or little projects like that where you might need more than half a meter of each one. Oh, no, with the red background. Okay, that one's sold out already. That one's gone already. Okay, so I've got other poppies. They're slightly different. Oh, they're both slightly... Oh, hang on. No, now this is the one. Let me put my glasses on. These are actually the same print, right? But what, because this one's on a black background, you can see the stalk. It's very subtle on the cream background. We'll start with the cream. Oh, okay, as you can see there, they are the same scale. The photos on the website make them look like they're different scales. Not intended for children's sleepwear, just so you know that. Right, here we go. So it's 44 inches wide, it's machine washable, it's quilting weight cotton, it's 100% cotton. And it's from Camelot Fabrics. First time you've seen this one, this is brand new today. I will tell you which ones you might have seen before in a minute. But what, so what do we call this? Hang on. This is called, oh, now it's called the Oxford Collection. Storytime Floral. Oh, Storytime, that's why there's books on it. So the collection is called <coughs> Storytime and this is Floral on Cream. It's lovely, isn't it? Now, Oxford Cotton is like normally a shirting. Wait, let me just feel this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's... Right, what it is, it's got a lovely, I don't want to say brushed cotton because that's going to give you the wrong idea, <clears throat> but it's kind of, you'd make a lovely skirt or a lovely shirt or something like that out of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me just take a slurp of water while you look at that one. <clears throat> it's new fabrics. It's all the um, threads coming off the new fabrics that kept getting me tickling my throat. <clears throat> Seven ninety nine for half a metre. There we go. Beautiful, aren't they? That's on the cream. 
Now, very dramatic. We've got it on the black now. I like this one. Now, remember, um, um, Rebecca Harrison was in doing the um, Sussex Seamstress skirt with this on the weekend. Not with this, with um, other... F oh, this one, this one, this one, this one. From the collection. So if you think, oh, I quite like that pattern, that'll be available on the website at the moment. In the photograph on the website, it looks blue. It's not blue. It's definitely jet, jet black. Seven ninety nine. This one's floral on black. It's nice, isn't it, that one? See, that could be a lovely, even though it's black, it could make a lovely summer's frock, that one, couldn't it? Very pretty, button through, full skirt, little sleeves. Seven ninety nine, half metre. Remember, oh, now remember, this is cut off the bolt for you. So however much you want, as long as you buy it in increments of half a metre. So if you buy it on the website, if you buy four metres, that's eight units you need to buy. It's lovely though, isn't it? Okay, moving on. Textured dots next. Yep, yeah, that's these. Now, these are like pointelles, aren't they? Pointelle is when you, you either knit or you have your fabric and it's got a little bit, there's a little bit like loose weave within the fabric. Oh, hang on, the, the camera's gone a bit weird. There you go. Comes in black and it comes in, I'm going to say orange, but it won't be called orange, will it? Do the black one first. Oh, this is unusual. It's just like broken, not broken, but like stripes that they've just kind of broken a little bit there. Textured spot in black, we've called this one. Nice, isn't it? Quite dramatic, that one. Thinking a skirt would be lovely in that one. Like a, you know the, what looks nice this? One of um, Fiona Hesford's skirts would look nice in this, wouldn't they? Mix it with a black denim. Martha, it's called a Mar her Martha skirt would look good in this. Okay. Next one. Now, what colour have they called the next one? It's the same thing, textured spot. Light red, light red. Okay, uh, it's definitely, don't, definitely, it's got red in it, but you know. Anyway, light red. Is that ours or Laura Ashley? Textured spot in light red. <laughs> I don't know what I'd call it actually. Yeah, because uh, it is tend veering towards the orange, isn't it? But I'd say it's an orange mixed with another colour, just to bring it down again. Oh, Camelot, call it red. Okay. Well, wouldn't you call that red? Oh, that wasn't in shot, sorry. That's red to me, isn't it? Anyway, never mind, never mind, doesn't matter. That's what you'll get. But I'm just telling you at home that it's definitely verging on the orange. Okay, now moving on. Where's the folds? Oh, hang on. Oh, there they are. So that's textured spot, that one. These Now, these are flowers. I spent the whole of Sunday saying they were dots and stars, but they're actually flowers. <laughs> right, so you've seen this one before. But I'll just get that in the shop. But you haven't seen that one before. Uh, that one's not been on air before, has it? The cream one? No. So let's, do, which one do you want to do first? One we've seen before, before. Okay, five metres, this one left by the half metre. Lowe says, morning, just got back from uh, shopping. Put my brave pants on and went into the shop. Been up since five, I need to start work, but feel like I need to go back to bed. Oh, go back to bed then, Lo. What do, what do people's accounts matter? Oh, no, not pre, you don't mean pre-order. You don't mean pre-order. Uh, needle cases, amber makes, please be careful. Please be careful. It's on the next hour, but they're already verging limited. On the main page beneath us on the website. 
Okay, now this one's lovely. Little flowers. Now, the little flowers are like lime and black, I'd say. This is lovely, this one, isn't it? That lime, that said they were lime, soft lime and black. Ditsy in cream, okay. On cream. Like, and now is it navy blue or black? Oh no, it's definitely black, definitely black. It's pretty, that very popular on pre-order this morning, that one. Brand new today. It's lovely, isn't it? Just like a lovely all over print. Can you pull out a bit, Emma, so we can just see it? There we go. It's lovely, isn't it? 7 99 100% cotton, machine washable, 44 inches wide. Beautiful. Moving on. Now, where are we going now? Yeah, the big drawn flowers. Okay, this one here is very, very popular on pre-order. Now, have these been on before? I think you said you'd seen these before, haven't you? This one. Yeah, let's do the cream one first then. Oh, it has been on before. I've not, I've not seen it. It's lovely. I'm not surprised this is popular. It's cute, isn't it? So what's we called it? Etched floral in cream. I can't go, well, I'd say on cream, not in cream, but I'm not going to question that one. The buying department will be, they'll be sitting in the office going, phew, he agrees, he agrees with one of them. It's lovely though, isn't it? Yeah, multiple units, yeah. Dress making, blouse making, skirt making. Yeah. Okay, lot of, I had to say, a lot of uh, people on the Sewing Street fan page have been putting pictures of blouses up they've been making. Summery blouses. That's because we're nearly summer. You wouldn't know it with the weather, would you? You wouldn't know it. Three inches of snow in Aberdeen. Aberdeen. No, I, that's because when I worked at the Jewelry Channel, there was there were lots of customers from Aberdeen. I used to go, oh, it's lovely in Aberdeen. No idea why. Are we looking at this then, Emma? Thank you. Uh, this one's called Etch Flower in Black. That's correct. That's totally and utterly. Oh no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's on black. On black. On black. I think they're lovely. I think that's really nice, that one. What kind of flower do you think it is? Next. Oh, peony, well done. No. Peonies don't just come on trees, though. No, I've got, uh, Davina, Davina bought me lots of peonies, like that big. No. No, because they grow down. Peonies don't grow, well, at the end of the season, they go back into the ground, they're just a tuber, and then they come up again the following year. They're, they're, you can buy a peony tree, but they're not just a normal peony, and your garden doesn't turn into a tree. Right, where next? This is Gardener's World as well, ladies and gentlemen. Just think of me as Monty Don. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Hannah's in love with Monty Dunn. Oh, yes. Oh, they're in the different order on my desk. Come in three different colours. Now, that's really funny, isn't it? Because Hannah thinks anybody over 30 is old and ancient. But Monty Dunn's about 60, isn't he? Oh, see, Monty Dunn breaks the rules. Monty Dunn, she's allowed to fancy Monty Dunn. But anyone else at 60 is old and decrepit. Now, don't you fancy me, because we've had our date, Hannah. We've been on our date. It didn't work. Yeah. Well, no, not always. Right, so it comes on black, ecru and cream. We'll do the black one first. These are books, if you can see. When you come, we're coming close, I mean, they're books. 
I when we when we um sorted this out when we were sorting this out yesterday, I said I didn't have my gloves. I said, Oh Hannah, look, sewing machines. And she looked at me and she went, They're books. They're books, John. So I had to put my glasses on. If you're a librarian, look how many colours are in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colours in there. They are very delicately drawn and coloured in those. Oh, I'm better looking than Monty. Thank you. Hannah says, I'm not, Christine. Just to clarify, Christine, Hannah says, I am definitely not. Okay. It's, do you know why she's doing that? Because I told her she looked like Ollie from On The Buses. <laughs> No, hang on. Somebody said Wendy Orlando also looked like um, Olive from On The Buses. So maybe we'll just say Hannah looks like Wendy Orlando with the natural coloured hair. Beautiful. Now, which one do you want to go to next? Yes, I thought you would somehow. Yeah, this one here. Now, this uh, I've called this Ecru. They've called it taupe, okay. <laughs> They've called it taupe. Now, it's going to look very close to this one. This one's a cream coming up next. This is taupe. Very similar. Very similar. Oh, now quarter of the stock went to this on pre-order. I just put my hand in so you can see the size of the, the pattern. They've called this one taupe. Hannah thinks, oh, I haven't got one on today. Remember yesterday I had the shirt on, I had the different colour inset here and the button wrap. Hannah's thinking this would look nice in there and in there. Oh, no, you could do, look, the cue, the cu my cuffs are different in this one. Look, that one. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I've had this shirt for donkey's years. Well, I bought this when we used to work in Leamington Spa together, Hannah. We didn't work together because I refused to work with her. <laughs> That's a true story. Okay, now what have they called this one cream then? In cream. Well, when we came here, uh, they wanted me with Hannah and Little Paul was with, not here, not here, sorry, it's quarter, and Little Paul was with the other presenter. Monty Don is 65. Oh, yeah, 65. That's fine, Hannah says. And he's got a lovely dog as well, Hannah. Now, that's a completely opposite end of the spectrum, and I don't think he's 65. I was, no, he's not. Oh, he's, yeah, he's not older than 65. How old did you show Idris Elba, everyone? Oh, these are pretty. Now, these are like the peonies, but smaller. Look. Oh, hang on, sorry. Idris Elba's 48. Now... This is a colour that I would have said was Laura Ashley colour. We've called it Willow. Okay, the picture on the web has got extra like frog spawn dots on it. And they're not they're not in, they're not there. Is it, is it, hang on, let me look. No, that's weird, isn't it? On the website it looks like there's frog spawn within it. Yeah. Oh, Brad Pitt's 57, core, says Sue. I've worked with Brad Pitt. I've got other stories as well, yeah. What? No, no, I haven't. No. 7.99. When we were filming um, Interview the Vampire in New Orleans, it was all night shoots. And I did go, to, he had a whole house. They rented a whole house for him to live in and everything with his entourage. And uh, we used to go after night shoots, we'd go to his house. Not everyone, go for a swim in the morning. 
and have breakfast. Then we'd all go home. To, I'd go back to the hotel and people go home to bed. And it was really funny because as we were going home from work, they have a very busy um, clubbing scene. I've got to be careful how I do this story now. Very busy club, um, specialist clubbing scenes in um, New Orleans. So we'd be coming home from work, all bedraggled after a night shoot, and there'd all be these people also bedraggled, leaving all these specialist nightclubs. Okay. Moving on. Right, I've only got one fabric left, and this is my favourite. I'll save my favourite till the end. <coughs> How cute is this? Oh, did you, like, did you like this one, Emma? Little cat there. Now they're all cats. There's two cats there. There's an orange cat there. Yeah, there's no dogs, Hannah, no dogs. Oh, there's a cat on the top. Oh, my sister-in-law, Julie, right? So uh, Mike bought Julie a Labrador, black Labrador puppy, right? After Mr. Scruffy passed, to what passed on. Anyway, anyway, it, she's huge, right? She's called Darcy, and she, she's got paws. She's only still a few months old. She's got paws like this. Anyway, they were in the kitchen the other day, <clears throat> and uh, the doorbell went. So Julie went to the door. When she came back into the kitchen, Darcy was on the table, on the kitchen table, like, and, and she, like, like this, drinking Julie's coffee. She's very naughty. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Okay, that's all of those. Now I've got some other collections. They what? Oh yeah, the etched florals, yeah. Okay, these two here, I've just got to recap these because half the stock of this one has gone. And people are multiple, 90% of people have bought multiple purchases. $7.99 for half a meter. It is lovely, isn't it? Let me know what you're going to make out of it. Beautiful. And then the one on black. Almost just a smidgen behind the cream. Oh, two meters behind the cream. And this is brand new today. You've not seen this one before. Oh, there's a very low-flying aeroplane going over. Listen. Oh, yeah, Jackie said, uh, saw pictures of Darcy eating Julie's sandals yesterday. One of my Jack Russells, Max, he likes Costa coffee, says Shelley. You have to be careful, don't you? Don't ever give him chocolate. Okay, moving on. Please beware of the, I'm sorry to keep going on, but please beware of the needle case in the next hour because it's absolutely flying out. It's available underneath me. Not on pre-order. Oh, now tulips are, ch are chasing, chasing the, so it, the, the needle case. Right, am I going blue and white or am I going sunflowers? Right. No, exactly. Now, we have, the only time Hannah and I saw this is when we were working on a Sunday, <coughs> excuse me, and when, you, when we finish the show, we have to pack away what's on this show, and we have to open the next day's show, right? And Hannah was unpacking this, because this was 8 o'clock the next morning. We were both going, oh, that's nice. Oh, that, it's lovely. It's lovely. Now, it's in a big pile, but actually this only comes in bundles, I think, doesn't it? Oh, okay, let me do the mega bundle first of all, then. Let me do... But there are only single figures of the Mega Bundle. If you love Sashko and you love blue and white, you're going to adore these. Right, hang on a second. So that goes there, that goes there. Uh, I haven't got... The, the, fab, the fabric by the half metre, uh, there's, if you go to the website, you'll find one metre of this or half a metre of that. So this is the best... The, in the, this is the Mega Bundle. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 fabrics. Oh, and you get a half metre for free. Half a metre for free. 69 pounds and 70 pence. Right, let me just feel the weight of it. Right, these two here, if you want either of these fabrics, 
These are only available in this bundle because I've done them. That's one bundle. That's another bundle. That's another bundle. This is the mega bundle, but they're not in another bundle. See what I mean? So in a minute, I'm going to offer you that. Then I'll offer you that. Then I'll offer you that. But this, these two, the only way you can get those two fabrics is in this bundle here. And we're down to seven mega bundles now. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, you can hear the fly low-flying aeroplane. Pam Minihani says, yeah, blimey. Right, uh, so 69.90. Now, it's got, what's it called? Sakura, isn't it? Let me look. Sakuru fabric mega bundle. You get half a metre for free. Aren't they lovely? They almost look like they've been, not tie-dyed, but you know what I mean? Like, like is it a batik? I don't think it's a batik, it? it's a print, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Ooh. They're beautiful, though. So, oh, seven berry made in Japan. That's why they're so beautiful. Gorgeous fabrics, aren't they? So this is the mega bundle. So you get half a metre of each of these fabrics. I haven't got any of them available by the half metre on their own. I've got the mega bundle, then I've got three mini bundles. And the, the, the only way you can get these two is in this bundle. And they're now limited. So what are we down to? Six, yeah, seven. Okay, seven of those left. That's it. That's it now. Right, now I'm going to put that to one side because you can't get those anywhere else. Let's do with anyone in particular. Okay, I'm going to do the spots first because they're in the middle there. Now, don't worry when you look at these that your eyes or your telly is going a bit blurred. They're, they're not definite. They're like blurred spots. They're like splodges. You see me? Like ink splodges. Like you put ink on blotting paper and they've just seeped out they're beautiful just so you know there's only nine of this bundle available now and we're not doing them again we won't be doing them again 1999 so you get half a meter half meter half meter and they're saying bag making Helen newton's tote bag oh yeah with the lovely blue the navy blue um webbing as the um strap they're nice, aren't they? So you get half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Sakuru. Oh, this one's called... Me oh, uh, do you know what I was about to say? Do you know what I was about to say to you? Do you know... Um, oh, Chang. Oh, I forgot the first... Chang's Fabrics. What was she called? That lovely lady. Lives in Chiswick. Husband's an... Uh, um, be uh, Becky, Becky Swan, Becky Swan, right? She used to bring us Shibori fabrics because it's the way it's dyed. It's an old Japanese art form. Now, I'm not saying, oh, is it Chinese? Oh, Chinese, sorry, Chinese. I think, right, I think, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, of course it was Chinese. That was my bad. Yeah, Ch hers Chinese. These aren't done by that method. These are done to look like that method. Because her method, the fabric would have all been scrunched up, wouldn't it, and everything like that. So I think these are prints inspired by uh, Shiburu, Shibori, Shibori. I could never say it properly, could I? Shibori. So that's what, so there you go, so there we are. Got there in the end. Wrong country, wrong name, but you know. Yes. No, sorry. Yeah, beautiful. Now, yes, because then this almost looks like a double wedding band quilt pattern, doesn't it? But again, this was, oh, let's see what this one's called then. And it looks like Sashko. The next one looks more like Sashko, but this one looks Sashko as well, doesn't it? Like Seven Seas or something like that. So, oh yeah, this is the other one, Shipu. This is Shipu. So this is the one. They haven't made this in this technique, but the, the technique is, is they get fabric and they knot loads and loads of little threads in it. Then they dye it in indigo and then they pull it out. And then they pull, when it's dry, they pull the stitches out and it creates patterns like that. And it's a dyeing art in China, right? And these, so these aren't done like that. These are prints inspired by those different methods. Yeah, but these the ones I'm thinking about the, with those names are definitely Chinese because they're the ones that Becky Swan shown us the real thing. Oh, only five of this bundle left now. Just so you know, just five of that. They're lovely though, aren't they? Pamela. 
If Hannah fancies a walk on the beach with the sweetest dog in the world, Willow would be happy to introduce you to Southbourne in Bournemouth. Pamela. Oh, what a lovely offer. She doesn't drive yet, so to get into Bournemouth would be a bit difficult. But she, when she's passed her test, she'll be definitely down. Bournemouth is lovely, though. I bet that was somewhere near Bournemouth, wasn't it? That was Southbourne. I've never heard of that. When she can drive, she'll definitely be down there. You Don't hold your breath, though. Could be waiting a while. 1999. Beautiful. They're lovely. I love those. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say five is a single figure. Less than five now. Less than five, though, so she means four. Right. Okay. It's so funny when Hannah does that. She goes less than 17, so 16. Less than 14, 13. Here we go then. Nine. This is lovely, isn't it? What have they called this one then? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I won't say that one just in case. It's very like the wide backing we had just. It's not wide. It's 44 inches. Let me hold it up. Look. Isn't, I'm just. Oh, hang on a sec. Uh, let me show you that and then I'll, re I'll put my glass on. Read my, look. Isn't that lovely? So it's like Sashko. It's like the fabric we had yesterday, which was extra wide, which is still be on the website if there's any left. The navy was the most popular yesterday as well. Um, anyway, a message, what, sorry? Or question, question. Okay, look. Right, hi, John. We'll be making the Moscow dress in black linen with Laura Ashley. <gasps> oh, that'd be lovely. Julia, that'd be beautiful. Yeah, we said dressmaking, didn't we? Question from Bernadette. Uh, I want to make some summer shorts. Do you think the Laura Ashley Oxford collection fabric would be suitable for fl flowing? It would be perfect, Bernadette. I was going to say, when you said shorts, I was going to say, oh, it might be a bit fine for, like, tailored shorts. But for the flowing, oh, no, that'd be lovely. That'd be really lovely, yes. Definitely. Uh, 1999 that bundle seven of those last time you're going to see these lots of people got it basket sue says that's the one thing i haven't missed during the pandemic we used to have loads of planes circling over us it's much quieter without them also didn't they find that in, within the first few weeks of the first lockdown Pollution was like, a, or not cleared, but you know what I mean? The, the, the level of pollution, the, you, people could sense it when they went for walks, the less, less, especially in London and places like that, the pollution levels. Anyway, let, I've only got a few minutes, so let's do this one. Have we got a mega bundle? Yeah. Okay, I've got a mega bundle, but only some of them by the half metre. There are no panels in this mega bundle. That's a striped fabric. I'll show you that one in a second. Now, also, I know that that one's not available by the half metre to start with. We launched this with um, Wendy Orlando last week when she did one of her quilts. Oh, right. These three fabrics here are only available in the Mega Bundle. These are not available by the half metre. If you want that, that or that, <coughs> excuse me, you get half a metre in this bundle. These I can all offer you by the half metre in a second. Okay, let's do the individual fabrics then. Uh, stripes. Now, <coughs> this one looks like... Um, I just need to point it out. It's a striped fabric, but the stripes are going down the fabric. So <clears throat> they're going down, but look, the motifs are sideways. So if you're making a skirt, you're going to want to think about cutting it that way. Or any, pro any project, actually, you're going to want to think about cutting it that way across the fabric rather than down the fabric. Because look, if you were to cut a skirt pattern like that, all your sunflowers would be on their side. Oh, yeah, Rebecca Reed. She's changed her frock and everything. 
Okay, so that's your stripes. Checks on their own, like a gingham. Well, it's like a crosshatch, isn't it? There you go. That might make your eyes go funny on the telly, this one. Oh, yeah, you're correct about the pollution. I'm correct about the pollution. £7.49 for half a metre. Beautiful. Right, now that fabric with flowers on top. Now, when we did this the other, other week, it wasn't this week, was it? It was last week, wasn't it? Um, this flower, this uh, fabric caused consternation amongst the viewers because everybody could see completely different things. Oh, I can see it this week. Faces. Everyone kept messaging, go, John, I can see faces in that fabric. We were like, you're crazy. You're, look, I can see them now. No, I can still see them there, especially that one. Look at that one. That one's Hannah on her way home on a hev after a heavy night drinking, that one. She doesn't drink anymore. In case her mother's watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's not had a drink for 48 hours. <laughs> no, because you are only a weekend drinker, though, aren't you? Like, um, yeah, just no. Oh, yeah, unless she's going to a party, or she's meeting the neighbours, or she's taking the dog for a walk, or... <laughs> oh, it's, there's a Y in the day. Right, this is pretty, isn't it? The blue flowers with bumbly bees. What's the matter? What are you looking for, Rebecca Reed? A bit of fabric. What colour do you want? Anything to test the oh, to test the machine. I, I've got, I've got some. Not, You're not interrupting. It's fine. Seven forty nine for half a meter. That's about to sell out, and that'll be it. Then once it's gone, it's gone like those others. Now this is I love this one. This one's joyous. Oh no! After she said that, there's one meter of this left. That's it. One meter. And apart from the half meters that are in the bundle, there's only one meter of this available to buy on its own. Hannah, seven pounds and forty nine pence. I love the selvage because it's got butterflies and all sorts of things. All the different colours are all in different butterflies. And, and look, I'll just show you very quickly. Look. Anyway, 7.49. Check out your baskets. That's gone. Or will, will have gone when you checked out. Right. Before we go, I need to show you the website because the next hour is busy, busy, busy already. <coughs> we took them off pre-order. <coughs> excuse me. And we put them onto the um, main page. So you go to the website. Click on Watch the Show Live. Scroll down the page. There's all the fabrics I've just shown you. And then here we go. So there's the panel, the stained glass panel. There's the uh, cloud of cats. There's the tote bags. Then we've got the, they are the needle cases. You don't get the needles in there, right? They're going absolutely crazy, the needle cases. They are going to sell out if you're not careful. The bumblebee one especially. Then we've got the tulips very close by in second place. Okay, and then, oh, there they are again, in two different colourways. These are your, ne they're, they're sewing cases. These are sewing cases, not needle cases. These are sewing cases. And that's everything. That's everything in part one. When, when we go through it, because we're, we're not, obviously, Rebecca Reed hasn't got time. She's a wonder woman, and she hasn't got time to, to show all of those. So what we'll do is we will talk about each one, and we will give you dates about when they were demoed in full. Okay, we're going for a break now. We'll see you. Oh, she's looking lost now. We'll see you in three minutes from now. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!
need of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Uh, now, whenever we do an Amber Mac, can you hear in the background? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <coughs> Every day at a time we do an Amber Make show, it sells out. We bring it back, it sells out. We bring it back, it sells out. So we've decided to do a uh, best of or the, the greatest hits part one, volume one, volume one. So today I'll just tell you, I've got needle case, I've got sewing case, I've got stained glass window, I've got tote bags, I've got a cloud of cats and I've got the flowers in a plant pot. All of those, what we're going to do is they're all, of, they're all on the website now. So if you don't want to wait for us to get to it, go to the website. Go here now. It's already not on pre-order. It's on the actual show deals. Here you go. You press watch live. That's all the fabrics from the last hour. 
Everything is already on that stained glass window, cloud drift caps, tote bags, sewing needle case. They're the needle cases. Then you've got the flowers. Then you've got the sewing cases, right? They're all there if you want to come in and get those. What we're going to do, obviously, is not time to, to um, show every demo, every single one. So Rekka Reed is going to hear to, show, to tell you little bits about each one. So we're going to go through each one very quickly at a time. So, so we're starting with the needle case collection. This is what it makes. So you've got that really lovely little um, ne hand needle booklet. The needles are not included. And then this one here is your sewing machine uh, um, ca case with all the different needles that you don't get the needles, but you get the sections where it says jean, leather, sharps, everything like that. So what you actually get is you actually get the instructions and the panel. So I'll put this down on the table for you. So there you go. So that's everything you need to make. Both of those, both the hand needles and the hand sewing needles and the machine needles, everything you need is on that. Hang on, that can't be right. $14.99 for that and that. I'm not I'm not doing shopping tech. Right, a panel that big would go for four. Look at the, look, I mean, well, a panel that big would go for $14.99 and instructions like that would go for $9.99. So I don't really know what's happened there. But anyway, you get it for $14.99. You get full instructions and you get the panel for $14.99. Becca Reed will tell us if we need anything else. Bit of interfacing. Bit, bit of interfacing. Some press, press fasteners. Medium wear interfacing. Yeah. A what... little bit of bond web if you want it. Some bond web if you want it. Yeah. Nothing. Anyway, nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing so major. So that's your Bumblebee version, which is incredibly popular and even more of you coming in now. Okay, there is a small there is a small queue on the phone lines. If you're ringing in, we know it's busy. There is a small queue on the phone lines. Right, okay. So, stay, just stay where you are. Don't put the phone down. Because do, if you put the phone down, you then fall out of the queue. And if you then call back, you'll go to the bottom of the queue. That's all. We've also got the same uh, pattern, uh, uh, yeah, instructions, but in a different colourway. Now, you've got this one, haven't I've you? I've got this one, yeah. Right, so this one is antique. Oh, it's called vintage. Vintage. Antique. Vintage. vintage, sorry. So you've got the sewing machines. There's the still. Again, it's fourteen ninety nine for the panel and the instructions. Okay, right, Rebecca Reed, I'm coming to you now. Three, two, one, now. Three, two, so, one. do you like have a look inside? Hello, Rebecca Reed. Oh, how hello, are you? John Scott. Lovely how are you? you? So nice to see uh, you. Can I just say congratulations on your half birthday? Oh, thank you. thank you. Thank you. If you weren't watching, I know loads of you were. Uh, they had a six month birthday. Yarn, I just, mm. I'm going to say now. Yarn Lane is all Rebecca Reed, right? Oh. Everything you see is organised by Rebecca Reed. She's a one woman organ, and I just have to <laughs> say this because it's really important. People don't realise how difficult it is putting a show together. She puts all of them together. And like I said the other day, she started, she had a desk. She got the horrible desk by the toilets, right? And she was just yeah, on a desk. Now, you go to a desk and all, it's like an island of wool <laughs> and yarn and And it's samples. all taking over, isn't it? It's but like I want to say congratulations. Oh, well, thank you. you've done a brilliant, brilliant job. Well, it's all the fantastic viewers. Yes, I know. And the you suppliers. weren't bringing them what they wanted. You know and the mean? lovely and guests. All the, the guests are fabulous, aren't they? But it's a bit fun for me because all these, I've been knitting and crocheting for years. So all of these designers, I'm big fans of. Oh. And I meet them, I'm like. <gasps> <laughs> I can't imagine. Slightly like overexcited. <laughs> <you know? laughs> anyway, I just want to say well done. Thank so we you very much. It was a good day. It was good fun. Um, right, okay, talk to me about the needle. So in the um, hands, so I've got the vintage one here. There we go, in the middle. Um, so in it, I, the idea concept behind this is I have loads of needles and I believe passionately using the right needle for the job. And you know what we like, we don't, we just buy a packet in the, sh in the supermarket and use whatever. Or from and sewing suit. Or, but that's, originally that's what people oh, did, yes, didn't yeah. they? Then they tried to sew their name tape <coughs> on, but I can't do that because it's too thick. So yeah. I'm passionate about using the right needles. So I chose my favourite ones. And then I thought, if you then have the names printed on. Well, no, no. But how many times do you open a pack of needles and then don't put it back? Never. And then you think yeah. afterwards, oh, is this a twin? What is it? Is no that idea. Yeah. And whether it's a chenille or a... So I put all the ones. So you've got... They're all... All the pages are printed. So you've got chenille, darners, embroidery, which is also called cruel, leather, very important, mm -hmm. milliners, 
quilting, betweens, sharps, tapestry and the spares and those are the ones that you did take out of the packet and forgot to put back yeah. in <laughs> but i keep safety pins in that one okay because i use them for sort of threading mm. things so so that's the vintage one then what i did is that sewing machine needles different issue that you do need the right needle for mm -hmm. the job but once it's in your machine no idea and no. if you come back to that three weeks later no idea what it is yeah or you can the only one you've had to tell really is a leather needle by yeah. looking at that's it, isn't it, it? Isn't, yeah the others you'd be like mm. i've tried taking a photo of it on my phone and blowing it up oh and that sort of because otherwise how do you because they are they have got the numbers on them yeah, you've got too much time on your hands mm. so the whole point in the sewing machine needle case and it matches is i put a flap on it because when i made it they all fell out so okay yeah the first prototype, is that you've got all of the needles you need. And if you don't have all of these needles, you just use universal. And then you come to do a bit of top stitch with a thicker thread and you haven't got it. So it's really nice you've yeah. got them all. And specials, just in case maybe you've got a twin needle yeah. or you've got something that I haven't listed. Spares, because you might have an extra one. And this is the important one, in the machine. Right. So say I've got a um, jeans needle in my machine. Yeah. I get the jeans needle packet, put it in the sewing machine, and then I put that packet in that pocket. And then I know. That packet in that pocket. That packet, packet in that pocket. You don't get, you don't get you the don't needles. Get the needles. You do not get the needles. So it should fit most um, different packets of needles. If it doesn't, you just have to move your stitching lines over a bit. Okay. But, Actually, what I found is once you put them in, then it sort of stretches them a bit if they are a bit bigger. Yeah. And then it just folds over because, as I said, they they fell out the first time. But also brilliant because I keep my uh, all my box of machine needles in a drawer. So you pull the drawer open, you like haven't got all the boxes in there. Oh, what's that one? No, it's not that. You know what I mean? I know, and I'm rubbish. But also, you know, if you've got something that I do as well is if I've got a spare one, I might just push it through here if it's one that's used and I don't want to put it back in the packet right. you can just like push it through the front of the pocket so mm. you know that's that's a used one so they anyway they match because a lot of us do sewing and sewing machine and hand oh, exactly sewing. exactly now well yeah because most most projects you need to do both on yes um are the pockets already labeled on the panel then? yes so shall I show you a panel please because I have a b panel here even though I've got the vintage sewing one there so the way that the Amber Makes kits work, if you haven't seen one before, Amber Makes is me and Amy. Okay. And Amy is... How is Amy? She's, uh, she's gorgeous, Amy. Yes, right? Amy's in the office today. It is? Not here, oh, but over the oh, road. Oh, yes, oh, right. yes. She is, she is like the most talented, amazing artist, yes. surface pattern designer. And I give her all these sort of random sizes and go, well, it needs to be that big and can you write that on it? And then she comes up with these amazing designs. So she came up with all of this. So the way that the Amber Makes kits work is everything on your panel is labelled above, not below, above. You'll realise that when you start at the top. Okay. Because the important thing is before you do anything, before when you cut it all out, is to cut the label off and pin it on. Because although you think you'll remember, you probably won't. Right, okay. Even though sometimes it's a bit obvious. So you can see that these are all labelled. So this is the hand sewing case. So these all labels stretch top stitch. So there's different options in this. If you want to embellish a bit, there's lots of other little piece, bits and pieces around. So with this, um, with the hand sew needle, the, the label for the front cover is printed onto the front cover, yeah. but it's also separate. So what I did with this, you can see on this one, is I cut that out and put a bit of felt behind it and sewed it on. Oh, nice. So a bit of a plique. And embellishing it, yeah. And then I embroidered some needles on that one and put some buttons. And then on here, I cut the label out, I embroidered some bits on the sewing machine. So but you don't have to do no. that. So if people want to see a full demonstration of this, what date did you do it? It was, I Reed? wrote it down, the 30th of November. 30th of, 30th of November. 30th of November. Street, 30th of November. And then you can see how you do <coughs> it all. But that's how it works. So you don't have to put all of these bits and pieces on. Also, every panel that we do has labels that you can put, you know, stitch with love, stitch with me, hand by, mm. whatever. And you can use them for other things. Okay, I just need to tell you something. Now, this is going to sound as though it's vast, but we know how many have sold in the past, right? And we know we can see how many have gone this morning. We've now got fewer than 100 of each of those, which I know you're going, oh, they've got 100 at ages. It really isn't. It really, really isn't. You, if you knew how many hundreds of these have sold, then 100, having 100 of each or less than 100 of each in the warehouse now is, is low numbers for us. Okay. Right. So what you do to start with, so that's how it all works. And um, so you can make one each, you make one for Ren, one for you, whatever. You can choose between the B or the vintage sewing. So to start with, cut out everything. And I said, just cut out the little labels and pin them to the centre. With some things you'll think I'll remember, but it's, it's just one of those things. I always cut it all out and then you know where it is. So I'm going to start with the 
hand sewing needle case. Okay. So first of all, you have to make the pages. So I've made some in advance and each of the pages, they're like double sided. So you, it tells you in the instructions what order to put which ones together. You don't have to put them in that order, but I like my needles to be alphabetical. Oh, okay. Like, is it, is it a real alphabetical or is it Hannah alphabetical? Oh, what's Hannah's alphabet then? Have you seen, Hannah did all the green shells over there, right? <laughs> right. So you go, rotary cutters, oh, they'll be down here near the R's. No, rotary cutters are at the top left-hand corner. Oh, okay. So they're in Hannah's they're order. They're right. So, but, but I can say to her, oh, Hannah, rotary cutters, top left. So she knows. I can go, tapes, bottom right. She knows her own alphabet though. Oh, stock announcement. Okay, the bum will be one less than 50 now. See that, see what I mean? See what I mean? That's how quickly they're going. That's how quickly they're going. So nice. yeah, so you like them in alphabetical order. So if, I, if you follow the order I do, then you will get them in alphabetical order. Otherwise you can just go random. So you place, put all the ones right sides together, sew them together, and then turn them right sides out. And that's what I've done in advance. Okay. And then top stitch round the edge. So I can do that. Oh, can you? I can do that. I'll show you. It saves you having to um, hand stitch that yeah. bit as well. Now, the reason I top stitch it around the edge is it saves you hand stitching that, but also it gives it a really nice little neat finish and makes it a bit more structured. Yeah. I like a bit of top stitching. But if you don't like top stitching, you don't have to do this. Okay, now I might have missed this. Did you put anything inside that? No, no, you don't want These anything. These are just the fabrics. Though. Because you want it be able to get needles of through course, it. Of course, um, of course, of course. To be honest, the only extra thing is, is I put some interfacing in the front cover. Right. Because that gave it a bit of stiffness. Yeah, yeah, but you don't want it through the page. No. And there's, um, if you want to do any of the plique, I use Bonderweb, because I like Bonderweb for a plique, but you okay. don't have to. And you'll need two press fasteners to do them up. Right. I do try and do, well, we do try and do with most of our kits, minimal extra stuff. Okay. So that everything you've got is yeah. there, but obviously sometimes there is extra stuff. If it's extra stuff, it's normally stuff you can get hold of quite easy. Of course, these look like kitchen scissors, don't they? Should have bought my own. The scissor carousel seems to have disappeared. It's, it's over there. Oh. <laughs> I, everything got moved for Yarn Lane's birthday. Oh. So you had a full on. Oh, I see. You had a full on <laughs> set of Yarn Lane, you see, and then everything's just moved over. Oh, do you want some proper scissors? No, they're fine. They're fine. They'll sure? do for now. So look, I put them all there. Then what you just you need to do is you're going to stack them up, but we're not going to do that just yet. So put those to one side. They're ready to go now. Okay. Then you take the cover. So like as I said. You put, I've, can you see? Yeah, I've got a bit of interfacing on the back yeah. of that. You don't have to do that, but I did. Now, on the panel, there is a little tab. The tab for the mach sewing machine needle is a different colour to the hand sewing needle. Okay. It doesn't have to be. It's the same size, but I do that size. So you have to put it, bear with me, it is on the left-hand side. It took me ages to think that, that through, but it is on the left-hand side. So put it like that. And then I always, within the seam allowance, the seam allowance for this is one centimetre, I always stitch it on within the seam allowance because it's the sort of thing that shifts, isn't it? Yeah. And then that always seems to shift as well. Did you find that? Mm. Did you not find your tab shift? Oh yeah, definitely. Shift. So what I do is because I don't when you're turning something right sides out, if you've got a pin in there, I was end up getting poked with it. <laughs> so um, I don't know how to do it on this machine. But you lengthen your stitch length. You could you tack you it by hand. The lengthen the stitch length by Oh, that well, okay, well, okay, I won't. Oh, so you're just tacking it in place? You just you tacking could buy it. a hand tacking stitch. You could, to, yeah. but I just find there's so many times when I do something like that and then you turn it right sides out and then the tab's skewing. And it's gone, yeah, it's gone on an angle, yeah. Very annoying. So there's the front, that's really easy. The tab is just a square of fabric, same right sides together, turn right sides out, nothing. Uh -huh. So it's not difficult to make. There's the lining, so the lining's got bees on. Mm -hmm. Put it right sides together and then you sew it together all the way around. Um, have a th when you do something like this, always have a think about where you're going to start and finish because although it's the um, turning gap will be turned to the inside, it will show up a little bit. So I will start and finish in the bottom of the centre yeah. because that's where the spine will be. How do you mark it so you don't forget? <laughs> right. Yeah, I usually get one of those little mark one of those marker pens. Oh, fiction. My favourite pen in the whole world. Okay. I but, love these. You see, they're like Marmite, aren't they? Some people <gasps> really? love them, like you. But yeah, but yeah, and some people hate them. 
Well, I used to hate them because I thought that they would not, the marks wouldn't come off, and I have never, ever had the marks okay. come off. I'm not going to say uh, that. What I'm going to tell do. you is test your fabric first. Yes. Only because there's a lady on our Facebook page <clears throat> this week, and she's distraught because she, she didn't test it on her fabric first. She did her quilting lines in no. it, and she cannot get rid of them no oh, matter really? how much she irons it or anything like You that. should, I don't yeah. know if it's a friction pen. I'm just saying it, it could, it's a marker pen. So please, please, please test it on. Uh, like you, I've never, ever had an issue with them, but... It's always best. Well, test. sometimes if you've got a really lightweight fabric, I found although the marks come off, the sort of the pressure yes, of the yeah. pen. That's because you're so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a good point. I thought about that. So, um, right sides together. Sew it together all the way round. Reverse. We're going to do it really quick so you can see how it works. When you get to the tab. Go over it twice, not because there's going to be any major pressure on it, but more pressure, and you really don't want it to come yeah, undone. Exactly. It'd be annoying, but it's not like it's not like a bag handle. Uh, when you said you put a, a popper on there, did you, did you? It's like a just a snap fast, yeah, snap press fast, fast. Not, not one of the prim um, no. thingies. And then you put a button over the top of it just to decorate just so it, it looked yeah. nice. And I only use that because that's all I had. Yeah. I didn't have one of those posh ones, okay. but I had some press fasteners. But you do that afterwards because you've got to work out where to go. Yes, yeah. no, I only sewed the button on because it looked nice and I had some. Well, yeah, because Hannah was saying she'd quite like it with a buttonhole, but I think you have to be careful doing the buttonhole because it's really, really Well, tiny. I just think that might put people off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah has that issue with it. <laughs> <laughs> it just might put people off. Um, <clears throat> That's quite hard to do that, isn't it? A buttonhole anyway. Yeah, no, But no, what's that... great is I find with all these kits, because people post on the page all the time, they do all sorts of things with them, so they might have put a buttonhole or done yeah, different things. Yeah, exactly. You, you could put a um, buttonhole if you wanted to. You could put a bit of wadding. But also, the buttonhole would take a lot of wear and tear. It would. And, and where's the popper, you can just know. Go on, there's a lovely message from Julie. Judith. Uh, good morning. I've made this kit and happily using it daily. Great Aww. mate. Thanks, Rebecca and Amy from Judith. Oh, thank you, Judith. That's so nice to know that people actually make them. Yeah, what, what? They actually bake them and well, yeah. use them. You've got four minutes left on this one. Right, so I'm going to press the seam. It says in the instructions, press the seam open. Obviously, you can't press the seam open because it's not like flat. But when I say that, well, this is what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's just press it to one side. I found that when you turn things right sides out, if you don't do that, it doesn't turn out as nicely. Do that one, but where your turning gappy thing is, there. Yeah, do it on both. Do sides. the other side as well. But you know that. And then clip off your corners. Yeah. And it will turn out nicely. Oh, now those scissors going to go to. Oh, you need today's early bird. Do you know what I reckon? Oh, we put it away. Are you all right? I just feel like these are left handed. Well, maybe oh, they not. might be. They are. They are in the orange. They are left handed on those. It's a different got, coloured handle. I have got, here, here, here. I have got the left handed kitchen scissors. This isn't the early bird. These are just some scissors that I had underneath here. Oh, Hannah's going oh, to get me some scissors. Some. I've got left handed kitchen scissors. Yeah. They're not kitchen scissors. That's quite funny. Oh, look. Can I have a, a selection? Just a sharp... Oh, I'll go Fiskars. White handle. They're my favourite. Oh, there you go. I love these. Mm -hmm. um, when you snip off the corner, I do a lot of um, corners and snipping in many of the projects. Snip she, it and she calls you noisy. <laughs> these are great, aren't they? I love these. Yeah. My favourite okay. scissors. Off you go, then. Um, snip off the corner like that, but then, because it's quite, you know, it's a little corner, snip it off again. Oh, yeah, graduate angle. it. Yes. Yeah. Is that what you would do? Yeah. I just find that if you just snip off the corner... Yeah, you've still got bulk there. It sort of sits you? in there. Yeah. I don't know whether there's a better way of doing it. No, no, it. That, that's good. Is that that's the good. proper way? I knew you'd know. Mr. Taylor. Yeah. Seems I just make it up. What? Well, I just make it up. I go, oh, that annoys me. I'll yeah. just cut that oh, bit no, extra. No, 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 no. But there's probably pot proper ways to do yeah. these things. Um, and then that's it, and then you just turn well, it right side down. Don't throw it on the floor because the hoover's broken. Oh, the it? vacuum cleaner's broken. Yeah, but we've got Elliot. He's like the key. No, Elliot's not happy because it's not working. Oh. Um, he'll have to pick them all up, won't he, mm. then? He'll like that. It's not Elliot today, though. It's Emma has to do it today. Oh. oh well, I won't put them on the floor, then, Emma. I mean, if it's Elliot, you know. Elliot broke them. Did he? Yeah. What was he doing? Like, extreme hoovering. I what? Extreme hoovering. I don't know what it was. I think he hoovered up something he shouldn't have hoovered up. <laughs> Or one of the guests. Yes. Mind you, he's angry at me because I was showing the Belle's little hand one 
and I showed how it could pick up crumbs. And the only crumbs we had were my biscuits, my gluten-free biscuits. So I did that. Then I showed how it could suck up water and then forgot, went home. Of course <gasps> Is it... that the mouldy one that was the other day? Did you own up to it? Because he didn't yeah, know Oh, yeah, yeah. Was. Well, somebody grasped me up, I think. Oh, because we were all going to wonder who did that. Huh? We were asked, wondering who did it on yeah, Monday. Me. I wouldn't have owned up. I'd have gone, I've no idea. Anyway, look, that's what it looks like. I haven't got time to finish it off. Yeah. So when you've done that, they, then your tab will be on the right side. You get your pages in yeah. alphabetical order, which mine probably aren't now. Yeah. Layer them up. You can top stitch around the edge if you like, or with this one, I did a little running stitch because I mm -hmm. thought that looked pretty, but that's up to you. Then you just put them on. Now, I um, use like fabric clips to hold them in place and you sew all the way through. If you Is that not very heavy? Machine? Well, draw a line to make sure that's through. I know you'd think that, wouldn't you? But it actually it goes, goes through. through. So what I do, to, because the this is the point where you're going to get the most wear and where you don't want to start and finish. So start in the middle, sew up to the end, back, cross the middle, up to the end and back into the middle again. Oh, okay. Then you're not starting and finishing at the at edges. The ends, yeah. You may, when you get to the very edge, because you've got a lot of layers, you might have to hand crank. Okay, right, get ready for the next one. You're okay. going on to sewing case next while I just recap these. Vintage sewing needle case, that's this one here. Okay, we had a few more of these to start with, so you get the instruction and you get the panel. When everyone's checked out, less than 30. Less than, fewer than 30 of those, sorry, fewer than 30 of those. That's the vintage one. There's lots of people got it in their baskets. Please be careful. Please be careful. Oh, Sally. Uh, hi, Rebecca and John. I've made the vintage sewing set, and they are my favourite things ever. Oh. Love all you do. Thank you for all your hard work from Sally in West Sussex. Oh, thank you, <coughs> Sally. Oh, that's, really <coughs> that's nice. Then I've got the, the bumblebee one. Okay, this one you get the bumblebee panel. <coughs> Excuse me. And you get the instructions, $14.99. Thirty-five of those once you've all checked out. Thirty-five. Uh, no, there's three. There's three presenters. There's three of us now. Somebody said there are only two presenters. Vix is on maternity leave. There's me. There's Rebecca Reed, and there's Wendy. They're the three presenters at the moment. Right. I'm moving on. Moving on. So that was your needle case. Now I'm going to sewing case. Uh, I've got the pink one here. Let me just show you. The hexi patchwork sewing case. This is what it creates. You don't get any, you don't get the threads, but you make all of these to go in and everything. This one's 1999. Nine, Starting with the pink one, yeah. So you get the instructions. And you get oh my word, there's loads on this. Looks like this one. An extensive panel, this one. So I'll show you that half first. And then I'll show you this half. So this one is called the pink hexi. Hexy, oh, just Hexy, just Hexy. It's not called Pink Hexy, it's just called Hexy. And that will make, oh, this. You've got a little pink cushion in there. <clears throat> you've got a little needle case in there. You've got a, um, a cover for a tape measure in there. And then you've got your little pockets, and you, you need a zip, obviously, to do this one. But isn't it lovely? You get all the panel pieces, like on the last one. So that's the Pink Hexy one. It also comes, and you'll see this in a minute, because um, Rebecca's got this one on her desk. It comes in red as well. Red is in the lead already. So here's the red one. Okay, look, there we go. This is the red one. I'll show you open like that. Like that. This one's in the lead. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I said it like that. I think it's because I thought you'd love the hexes more than the flowers. Anyway, that's the red one. Very, very quick uh, visit to... Uh, Bex now. Oh, no, I've got to call you Rebecca Reed. Sorry. <laughs> Rebecca Reed. You've done it now, though. I've done it now. <laughs> what? To just take us through what this makes, then. Right, so it makes a little sewing case. I wanted a <coughs> sewing case that when I go and sit in the lounge in the evening and do my sewing, I always have to go and get all the bits out of my big sewing box. So I wanted a little sewing case I could just carry with me. Right. Or when I come up here and I need to bring little pieces, I wanted just small versions of everything. Or, you know, when you, well, I always take a project on holiday with me, mm -hmm. and you can get it all in there. So I just wanted a, a little one. But then I thought, actually, it's quite nice if you know somebody who's gotten, start, bought a new home or started university or mm -hmm. get leaving away, then you've got 
just a little sewing case. So um, obviously I said to Amy, this is, these are the measurements, make me something nice. Oh. So you unzip it. It's got a handle and the handle has got inches on it and they are accurate. Oh yes. Amazingly. She doesn't believe me, does she? No. Not? But as I have a tape measure around my neck. Oh no, she's gonna prove it Do you then. think it makes me look like more professional? I think it's like more doctor. than a tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> be like a doctor with a stethoscope. Yeah, oh yeah. I like Do I never come in with a stethoscope. No. Nobody would ever believe that. I one. felt I looked more professional. <coughs> so, um, look, see? Okay, perfect. And what's inside? Right, anyway. So you unzip it. So you need two zips. You need the zip that goes around the outside, which is like a 50 Now, does it tell zip. you in the instructions what size zip it you It does. Yep. But also, when you go onto the website, if you look at the product description, it tells you what you need as well. Oh, brilliant. I think. Yeah. Unless it's fallen off, but it okay. used to. Okay. And then when you open it up, it's got little pockets, button safety pins and bits and bobs, uh -huh. so you can put what you like in it. I've got um, hexes in mine. Couldn't remember what I put in there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then it's got a zip pocket that you that will fit like these lovely scissors. They're my favourite. You don't get any of these. You don't, you don't get, get any, any of, any of, of them stuff. In it, but Those yeah. are my favourite embroidery scissors. They're we on know the yarn effect, lane. Every yarn lane. Every on yarn the show. lane. They're on there, aren't they? Yeah. I love them. And you can get like marker pen, you know, uh -huh. friction pens and stuff in there. They just have little snap fasteners. And then you get the pin cushion back and front and look around the edge. What have you got inside the pin cushion? I've got walnut shells in mine. Okay. Because they feel nice. Mm -hmm. Crushed walnut shells, but they're really good for sharpening your pins. But you can just put a bit of soft toy filling. Yeah. Go down the pet shop. And then a baby needle case, uh, which is... Hang on, go to the pet shop for your soft toy filling. No, to get the crushed walnut shells. Okay. They're used for reptile cages. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I know, but they smell... Yeah. They smell really nice. Lovely. Of reptiles. But you get like a kilo bag. No, <laughs> they They smell like snakes. <laughs> no, you get like a kilo bag and then you can use them filling all your pillows. Oh, okay. Cushions, but they just sort of feel nice. Yeah. Um, and then in it, then there's a little needle case, which is exactly the same as the big one I've just showed you. Uh -huh. But I didn't put labels on the pages because... Because um, you got them in your posh one. Well, it, it took up half of the thing. <laughs> so, they, but they're striped. So yeah. they're just, ex and in fact, they're made in exactly the same way as the needle case. And then you get the little tape measure cover that says tape measure. And these are just those cheapy, cheapy 150 centimetre length tape measures. And where do you get, where do you buy a retractable tape measure? I don't, do, I don't know whether we, do we sell them? We, well, the ones we sell are usually the shape of a snail. And yeah, well, you probably buy them. Okay, we'll find out. We get them from we'll the supermarket, out. you know. Uh, I've only got, I've got fewer than 50 of the red ones left, started with hundreds of them. And then there's little walls as well. Okay. You don't need to put the walls in if you don't want to, okay. but it does divide it all up if you put the walls what in. What date was this on, please? Um, this was on air on the 14th of April. 14th of April, this year? Yeah. Obviously this year. Obviously this year. Well, I knew you were going to, and I knew I'd have forgotten, so I, it took me ages to I had to scroll all the way back. 14th of April. It wasn't me. I haven't seen this one before. Right, okay. So let me just recap those, because we're going to move on to the next project now. So which one do you want to do first? Red one first, which is the one Rebecca's got over there. You get the panel, and you get the instructions for 19. It's a very comprehensive panel, that one. There's a lot on it. <clears throat> a lot on it. 19.99, you get those two for. There you go, there's Rebecca's red one. Little dance. Okay, and then I've also got it in the pink, which is the one I had here, which is hexes. The pattern on that one is the hexes. They've seen inside this one as well. Yeah, you don't get the thread. That's just mine. Yeah. That's a lovely colour. What colour is that? Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no one needs to know for a reason. Oh. I've got a secret reason that I need to know for you, see. I don't know, that was just out of my little box. They Lovely. Just, I anyway, just chose colours that went with it. Moving on. I think I've lost two. So, let me put that to one side. Now, the next thing we're doing is, be, oh, now I'm right in the way here, aren't I? Is the stained glass oh, window yeah. panel. Okay. Uh, you get the panel and you get the instructions. You will need some sort of wadding or craft, um, what's it called, that four ounce? Is it called craft wadding? Oh, upside down. There's the, there it is, that's the finished thing. So this is, you get the panel and you get the instructions. And then you just need a metre of um, fabric for the back. A metre? Yeah. yeah. But like, I use black, but you could use any colour in. Okay. So it's 19 99 uh, This is the panel and the instructions. Uh, the background of this picture on the website. Oh, that's the back of Bexley Towers. I know, but it looks, doesn't it look like all the stones have, they've all got a bit chipped? I thought it was here. I thought it was just No, that was, I had, well, I didn't know where to hang it to Your take a picture of it. Your house is white. You've got a no, little white Your house is bath stone. 
It's what? It's bath stones. Oh, it's not white, it's just a picture. Oh, oh very nice. But look, it looks all a bit chipped, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's nice. I think I might need to get it redone. It looks all a bit... No, I think I it's nice. I thought it looked nice. all right until I took the picture. <laughs> it's the back. Who's it was either back? that or the garden fence. Oh, no. Right, when did you demo this, then? Um, oh, oh, now, there's a good question. I'm not sure I wrote that date down. 15th of March. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Oh, yeah, 15th of March. I did write it down. Oh, okay. Right, now, just tell me, because you need a twin... No, well, you don't need a twin needle, but it's good to have a twin needle. Yeah, so you don't twin. have to have one. You can just quilt it with just a normal needle. But yeah. the instructions are written, because I wanted to sort of teach you, if you go on the 15th of March, how to use a twin needle. Oh, okay. Um, so it shows you how to thread your machine. We did the whole threading your machine up and how you do it. Oh, brilliant. Um, but you need a twin needle with a three mil gap. There you go. Have we got those? Twin universe. There you go. Look, you can read it there. Something, something, twin. I can't yeah. see it with my glasses. Yeah. No, I, do you know, I can't see that with or without. 80, 12, yeah, 3 millimetre. Right. Yep. So the ones that we had in stock were the jeans ones, and they're no good because they were too wide. Oh, okay. And also they don't go through that fabric very well. So we bought these specially. Oh, that's right. So I had a an hour the other day and we had the two twin needles in and I kept saying why have we got three and why have we got and obviously one was a jeans and one was well a the uh, the the four mil it's a 90 so it's jeans and yes. it doesn't go through That's, there no, no, no. as well in fact I broke it <coughs> to be honest okay so perfect so we had to buy some more and if it shows you how you can then it's brilliant I've not really done loads of twin needles oh have you not but it's fantastic because it's like two for the price of one isn't it I know all you have to be careful is when you get to a corner isn't it yeah but I found out how to do that so on if you go on there it shows you how to do it oh brilliant oh I might have to watch that then so what you do when you get to the corner oh yeah tell me you um you lift the needles just a couple of minutes so they're millimetres so they're free of the fabric. So what you do is you go to the end of the line yeah. and then back two stitches. Right. Then you lift the needle and then you turn the fabric and it's fine and then you put them back. Oh, and they've lined up. And then. because you go back two stitches, they've lined up with the next line. So you do get a sort of a cross of yeah, thread. Yeah, so we can't pivot, can but you? But it's the only way to do it and it really works. Oh, so brilliant. If you watch that one, it tells you how to do I it. I shall do indeed. Right, I'm moving on now to the framed tote set. Uh, there are two different versions of this. Shall I get them out? Right, hang on a sec. So I've got... You, which got, one are you picking up first? I've got charcoal. Oh, no, well, hang on. I don't want that one first. You want rainbow. First. Oh, it's called rainbow, actually. Right, I'm going to have to show you this panel in two sections because it's huge. So there's this side. Can you see all that? Well, it's because it's got all the lining printed on it because I wanted to give you everything. Yeah. So you and lining. it's got this side. So uh, how come it's the same price? Nineteen ninety nine. It's huge, isn't it? So this is the rainbow version, and you get the instructions in how to make it. And the quote on this one is: "So much fabric, so little time, and sewing is cheaper than therapy." Uh, yeah, beautiful. So that's that. But that's that one. Do you want to see it? Yeah, please. So the way I did it, I wanted it to look, a, you know, that kind of attic window thing. The what? The attic window oh, thing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So we, it's done so that you have to you have to cut these out and sew them together, but um, it creates that Oh, yes, nice. Look. That might have But then I us. wanted a big gusset, because I do like a big gusset. Well, you do a lot of shopping, don't you? Because then you can get a lot in it, bottles and things. Uh -huh. wanted a nice, because I wanted to go shopping with this. In fact, I made a bag to bring up here to put my clothes in when I had to get changed, and it's oh, okay. the same as that. Okay. Um, so it's got a nice big gusset, but I wanted it to have a, the lining, and it has a... Frame, um, a facing as well so you can use these instructions then if you wanted to make your own and is it fully lined then, fully well? lined and also there's a zip pocket now obviously you don't there we go you don't have to put that in if you don't want to <coughs> but it is nice to have a zip pocket so you don't po need to buy any other fabric if you're gonna no make nothing it. at all but you just if you want the zip pocket you'll need that but there is and the pocket has got scissors on it on that one oh, so okay so, so you've got the fabric oh for the fabric yeah there's the, well. there's the pocket so That's all brilliant. the fabrics on there so the only thing you have to buy is a zip and some thread Okay, uh, let me just and show you the other And then there's a baby colorway. one as well. Oh, there's a baby one inside? Yeah, inside there's a baby one that okay. you can put your mobile phone in, your sunglasses, and that just says so on and so forth. Okay. And that's lined as well with little handles. Oh. And it's got tape measure handles and they are accurate. Are you, oh, is it doing that cut whole thing again? I'm not doing that again. Because if you had a stethoscope, you'd be a doctor. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. Yeah. We've done that. Yep. Okay, <laughs> I've got it in another colourway. I've got it in the grey, which has got safety pins and sewing machines. This has got a different quote on it then. Yeah. So this it one is. has a quote saying, happiness is handmade and my soul is fed with needle and thread. That's my favourite one. Oh, is that your favourite yeah, one? Yeah, I like that. Oh. 
Anyway, that's the grey one. I don't know what it means. But it sounds no, like... <laughs> it rhymes, doesn't it? It's a poem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's lovely, isn't it? So I uh, just... Now, you see, I like the, the, the mitering on that, you know, because it's, it's It really, yeah, it really stands out. The and the, um, the gussets are safety pins. Oh. And that take just... you back to your Liz Hurley days. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or your punk days. My punk days. More likely to be punk with Liz Hurley, aren't you? Probably, yes. Yeah. I did have some tartan trousers. Oh, right. I don't think Liz Hurley did. No, but they... But it wasn't tartan Bay City Rollers. That's not punk, is it? Yeah, it was punk. You think Sex Pistols? I know, I'm being sucker. So. <laughs> <laughs> Taking you back another 10 oh, years. Oh, yeah, you see, not that far back. So with this one, I'm... Just to show you, I didn't put the zip in, but I just just followed... If you follow the instructions, if you don't want to do a zip, you can just make the hole. Okay. And then you can still have a pocket. And what date did you do the bags on? Um, one moment, caller. I did write it down. I told you I wrote them all down. Only problem is I've got to find them. Okay, that's fine. Um, um, did you want to demo something on this one? Um, oh, no. Yes, yeah. I can. Mm -hmm. No, I only can. if you want to. Not only if you want to. I've got to just find him. 3rd of February. Is that what you said? Um, this is great, isn't it? I've, made, I've written it all, all down. All your notes, are, are they falling out of order? Well, they have, although I did write numbers on the top of them. Six, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm all right if I'm doing flower pots. No, you haven't. We're not Third of Feb. There you go. Thank you. I don't you. know why I bothered looking. No, just Hannah. She's a producer. <laughs> right, did you want to show something on that one? Uh, yes, I can do. Okay. I've just got to get my... I've got it all oh, in back. you. Who think you are? No, I know. Don't I look? See, they. I look organised, but I'm yeah. clearly not. It's because you've been. Oh, we could hear you chatting next door. You weren't prepping. We could hear you chatting. Well, I was chatting to Delphine yeah. about needle felting. Oh, were you? Yes. I think we're going to get Delphine to come on to Yarn Lane. Excuse me. Mm, not all the might. time. No, not all the time. But we were just chatting about the the thoughts behind it. Okay. So what you do with this is, and I wasn't going to prep it all, but I'm going to sh show you. Um, you make, you cut it all out. Remember to label it. That's really important because on the panel there are loads of pieces. There are corners and side bits and across bits, all sorts. So you do need to label it. Okay, Samantha says, really, I think therapy would be cheaper. Me, <laughs> how much she spends on her fabric. <laughs> Can the bag fold into the pocket, says Princess. Well, I've no idea. No, How no. does one do that? It like that? You have to design it like yeah. for that specific purpose. Yeah. That's Didn't like a Waitrose that. bag. Other supermarkets aren't yeah. available. I'll try that next time. Yeah. I don't know how you do that. Okay. So you do the front and the back in the same way. Let me show it's you like what a it looks like. You like know a... how Quillo goes into yes, a Yes, yeah. It's like that, but the bag goes in. Oh, bag. so do you have to sort of fold it in? Yeah, and, and then it goes in, you zip it up. Uh, <clears throat> mm. That's a very good project idea. Thank you very much. Okay, I love that. I love that. Yeah. So you, first of all, you sew the top and the bottom on and then you make these, you, you sew a square fabric onto the sides and then cut it. So it's really simple, but these are separate. So is it a half square triangle in the corner then? Uh, uh, yes, no. well, you have a long strip of fabric, oh, okay, you put okay. a square on, you sew diagonally and yeah, then it creates yeah. that illusion. So the only thing you need to be careful of is matching these seams because it will look a little bit better. Yeah. If it doesn't match, it's not the end of the world, really. Once you, you do the front and the back, then you join all the gussets together because you have, because I could have had one long piece that went, oh, oh what's I said I'm not off? professional anymore. What was it? My tape measure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll put it back on. Um, I could have had one long piece, but I think it's, you get a better structure if you have a seam, don't you? Okay. So you join all your gussets together and then you sew them all the way around there, around the front of the mm -hmm. bag and then you sew them round the back of the bag, like that. Okay. So it's all one bag. Yeah. That's just talk, I'll just talk you through that bit. Then, when you do the back, the lining, I wanted to show you this. With the lining, I've put a, an extra facing across the top. Right. Purely because I think it looks a bit neater that when you look inside a bag, mm -hmm. if you have that facing. So the it's all exactly the right size, so you haven't got to think about how is, is the lining going to be the size? So the lining is wider than the front because you don't add the borders, but it's shorter because you add the facing. So okay. you put the facing on the front and the back. Now, when you come to do your pocket, if you want to, so in the instructions it explains you don't have to. Did I do this one on air with you? No. Are you sure? Because I did it the wrong Vicks. way round. <laughs> is it with Vix? I sewed the pocket on and I turned it out and I did it the wrong way round. Oh, okay. <coughs> but it could be one of those deconstructed, you know, like fashion sometimes shows the seams on the outside. You were just, just doing that. Just did it all wrong. So I've redone it. 
Okay. So this this is what you end up with is the post box hole. Uh -huh. Then, this is if you want to do a pocket. So if, if you don't want to do it, you can just leave it. Because a lot of people think, oh, I don't want to make that bag because I don't like zips. You can just leave it like that. Because with the charcoal bag, I did. Okay. I'll show you. Can you see? So I yeah. just left it. Oh, I see. So it's just, oh, nice. So you could put a little popper on there or something. Yeah. If you don't want to bother with a zip, you don't have to have a zip. But if you do want to put a zip, get a zip. It could be any length. This one's way too long. Um, now, I use glue. Pen. It, I brought my own with me, oh, just good. in case we didn't have one. Mm -hmm. They're back so, in stock. Oh, are they? Yeah. I love these. Yeah. Is that, is that the one we've got back in I stock? I don't know. Mine's a so line. So line, line. yeah. I probably yeah. got it from here anyway. I probably pinched it. Terry um, says, is this the question? Morning, John. Would the project be okay for my 13-year-old to do from Kerry? Not Terry, sorry, Kerry. Well, I, th I think <coughs> so, because you can make it as complicated as you like. You don't have to put a zip in if you don't want to. Mm. But because I've explained it, it's almost like a safe way place to learn. It's not a dress. Yeah, it's not yeah. something that's really going to show. So if you get it slightly wrong, it doesn't matter. Yeah. The post box bit is very easy because you just draw on the fabric and then sew round it. So you're not even having to think about seam yeah. allowances. When you come to put your zip in, you're, you're not putting zips in seams, so it's a bit easier. You can tack it. I like glue because yeah. it's quicker. So if you're using fabric glue, and then you can use any length zip as long as it's long enough because you'll cut it off afterwards. Do that. And then I sort of stick it here from the back and then turn it over. And then you can really adjust it. So what I tend to do if I've got a really long zip is because I, I don't like those metal bits because you end up sewing over them. Yeah is that you can if, make sure it's done up, but you can really adjust it. Before if you, you top stitch yeah, it. Before, yeah, and then you just top stitch all the way around the edge. So you could tack it or pin it. You don't have to use the glue. But that's quite a safe way of mm. doing a zip because you're you're not trying to insert it into a seam and then you just get a neat Or you can use quilters, double-sided tape as well. Yeah, there is that. <clears throat> but anything I think that you can do to make it easier, and if you then put a zip in your bag, when you come to put them in something else, it's a bit, you know, exactly. where it's more on show. So mm. it's quite a good way. But I would say it's quite easy. You just need to have to sew straight. And if you are really new to sewing, draw on your fabric with a friction pen and sew along it. Yeah. So. Perfect. Perfect. Let me just uh, round those up then. So I've got two of them. We've got the rain. Which one's in at the moment? Rainbow's in the rain graphic at the moment. You get the huge, huge, huge panel on this one. Plus the instructions, and as Rebecca Reed just said, you can use the instructions afterwards to, with your own fabric. I don't put measurements in the instructions. You don't put measurements. But just measure them no, before no, you do we're, it. I'm not, we're not allowed to tell them that. No, I know. I've but. done it already this morning. Mm. Before you cut it all out, write the, all the measurements <laughs> down, then cut it out. Right, uh, very important on baskets on this one, Hannah's saying. 17 left of this one. 17 left of this one. Lots of people holding things in baskets. Please, if you know you want it, make sure you check out your basket. So that's your rainbow one. Then I've got the grey one, which is grey and sort of a caramel colour. You get both little, you get the main bag, it's fully lined, and you get the little bag details as well, and, and the fa fabric as well, and the fabric for the pocket. $19.99 will get you the whole panel and the instructions. Okay, that's your grey and beige one. Now I'm moving on to a clouder of cats. Now you can make loads with this bundle. Yeah. Right, fun. hang on. So what you can make here is use this illustrated cat panel to make a cushion, a tote bag, a shaped cat cushion, a zipped purse, a pouch and a picture. There's everything. You can make all of that from this bundle. Right, quarter of the stock went on pre-order. So this is one side of the panel. Right, that's one side of the panel there. And it says ginger, black and white, black and tabby. Beautiful, aren't they? And then you've got your little labels, your handmade labels across here. You've got some paws. And then on this side, you've got fabric, fabric, more cats, cat pouch. It tells you everything. I mean, Rebecca will take you through it now. Um, everything, you look at all these little paws along here. Beautiful, isn't it? Um, and you get the instructions. So this one's $24.99, but you can make so much with it. 
because I just said, look, um, cushion, tote bag, shaped cat cushion, zipped purse pouch, and a picture, all from that one panel. I mean, you could do what you want with this. If you don't want to make the picture, you can use that panel to make something else, I'm presuming. Well, the idea behind it is that there are four cats, so you can choose which cat you like, which right. one you want to put on. So if you want to make the cushion, the cushion and the cats are all the same size, and you can then choose which one you put where. So with the cushion, you've got just a cat on the front, right. but then there's enough fabric to do the, bar the um, borders. Yeah. Then the bag has got a cat... Oh, cat that inside. cat doesn't come with that it. That doesn't come with it. It's just inside. Look, isn't that good? Um, so you could put, that's got a cat on the front and a cat in the back. Uh -huh. But you can choose what cats you put where yeah. because they're all the same size. But with this bag, so you get all the fabric to do the big gussets. This is a nice sort of, it's called a boxy tote because it's got a square bottom. So I'm thinking picnic. So every bit of fabric that you need, or do you just have to supply any You haven't got, fabric? there's not the lining fabric or the handles. Oh, okay. So we haven't got the lining, but, or anything that's like the paw prints or the cats. But you know what you can make there. that with? If you put some bows inside that, that would be a lovely craft bucket. For you. You know, wait, like wait, because it's got that big bucket. square bottom. Yes, so You yeah. can get a lot in that, or you can get four bottles in there. <laughs> of? Tizer. Oh, right. Tizer. Tizer. I quite like Tizer. Um, and then there's the bit the ones to make the pouches. Yeah. So there's little a little cat and a big cat. Do so you need those. to get zips for that one? Yeah, so I mean and in the instructions it says on each one what you need to buy for each different bit. So if you for the cat the cushion it'll tell you what size zip. So it's all on there. But basically it's it's <coughs> ideas of what to do with the panel. But you can follow it exactly as I've done or you can use the cats to do what you to like. To do whatever with. you want to. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just Lovely. Lots of, cat, lots of cats and paw prints. Fantastic. So uh, now it's a cloud, a group of cats. It is. I'm a bit of a collective noun fan. Oh, I didn't even know mm, that. A cloud of cats. How many does it take to make a clouder then? It's probably two, isn't oh, it? Oh, so well, like a herd Nelly, of we're cows. A clouder. Yeah. I um, didn't know. I, I've well, never a herd known of that. cows is them. Is that two or more? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's it's a collective. A French, it's a collective noun. I love collective nouns. Uh, no, I think they're fantastic. But, but mm. I didn't know cats were clouders. A non-patience of wives is my favourite. A what? Non-patience of non -patience. wives. Non-patience. Well, put lots of wives together <laughs> in a room, it becomes a non-patience. Yeah. Mm. I like what's rooks? Or um, that's something, it's not a murder. Murder of crows. 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 A prickle of hedgehogs. What's, um, oh, well, I've got to get on. What's, because <laughs> um, in my garden there's so many, there's a black ones, they're like a big blackbird, but they are, and they steal all the food. Magpies. The, jackdaws. Jackdaws. Oh, no, I love magpies. I think magpies are beautiful. Oh, jackdaws. These are jackdaws. Don't know. They're so beautiful, but they're not vicious, but they chase away mm. all the little birds. Anyway, the panel don't and the know. instructions for that £24.99. That's going to sell out today. That will sell out today. Message Diane on the bottom. Fabulous show today, lots of laughs. Thank you, Diane. No, also, Shelley you. wasn't going to buy anything today. She said, I've got lots of amber makes and I've just bought the sewing case. Then a few minutes later, oh, I've got the tote bag as well. Uh, <laughs> Stuart says, I never knew that was a collective, collective term for cats. Cats love Well, there the are, panel. each animal or bird or whatever has different ones. I painted them, my whole porch is covered in all collective nouns, so I had to choose which one oh, starts with an army of ants and ends with a zeal of zebras. Oh, Anna's been calling it a chowder all week, and I kept saying, I'm sure that's not right. I'm I think sure that's, that's a, a fish soup. <laughs> yeah, it's a soup, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay. Last but not least, oh no. Flowers. Right, the flowers, oh, I've covered them up. The flowers, doorstops or decorations, whatever you want to make them. Oh, there you've got a picture, that's fine then. Right, the one with the blue pots is first, which is this one. So this one has blue pots. Oh, it's the one I've got on my table, so that, this, that makes this one. There you go. Oh, hang on, another way these goes from the front, Emma. Yeah, they don't work as well. Oh. <laughs> hang on, we're just coming to it now. Oh, there it's gone upside down again. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Here we go. Sorry about this, everyone. <laughs> there you go. So the, the first one I'm going to show you is that colourway. Oh, ignore my bottle, sorry. $19.99. Oh, you still see it? <laughs> anyway, let me show you, let me show you. You can make both of those out of this. So you get the instructions and then... You get the panel. Obviously, you're going to need some other things for this one, but oh, lovely. Look, let's, <laughs> you can get the mud. You well, yeah, you could have the soil. So, you get your flowers. I'll tell you, you what. You get your pots, you get your mud, you get your leaves, you get your stalks, you get your small flowers. Everything on there. It's a lovely big panel that for 19 dollars uh, 
This one feels like it's on a different cotton. This is love, even no, lovelier than normal, isn't it? It's the same. I think so. You washed yeah. this one. <laughs> no, no, that one's just come to you. Okay. See, all you need is wadding, soft toy filling, and weighted filling for these. That's okay, it. wadding, soft toy filling, and, and some weight. I've used gravel off my path. Okay, so you'll be wanting to If you to fill get the bottom then. of them, they feel a bit bumpy. Right, yeah, everyone, if you want to go to Rebecca's house and fill up, please do. It's fine. Yeah. Right, yeah, she said, looking yeah, at me like that. Yeah, there's loads of gravel Then on the my other path. colour, which is the one you've got on your desk. This is the terracotta. Terracotta, oh, that's nice as well. Terracotta, now you've got your blue, your pink and your purple flowers in yeah. this one. So one is, well, they could both be doorstops, but I thought the big one is a doorstop and that's an ornament. I put some gravel in that one to make it stand up. Stop better. it folding over. But you could use it as a big doorstop or, or a table decoration. Yeah. They look nice when I put them on the shelf. This one, they look nice all yeah, over so the shelf. It doesn't have to be a doorstop. That's up to you. I actually need a doorstop for my kitchen. Mm. The Where soils, do these live in the office? The, you know, they were, actually, they were at home. I brought them in this morning. Oh. The soil's my favourite no, bit. No, you didn't bring those in this morning. I did. They were in my bag because you took them out of it. Did I, I thought to put them up there and last night. No, no, this morning you did that. <gasps> You've oh, been here too long. I've been here too long. I brought them in and you put them up there. Are you sure? Yeah, definitely. I could have swore. Oh, no, I tell you what I brought in. It's a stained glass window. That's the only yes. one I could find. Right, come on. Yeah, very similar. Right, do me a demo. Okay, so the idea behind these, like I said, it is um, you can use it for a doorstop. Now, I did try lots of different ways to do this. I have to thank my son, Freddie, because he worked out the template for me. Okay. Because if you look at the template for the flower pot, I've got a panel here. What have you got on there? Um, I thought it was going to be as easy as just doing straight, a straight top and bottom, but you have to have what's called a frustrum. A what? A frustrum. M like Mariella frustrum. Frustrum, which a frustrum is the top section of a cone. Oh, and that's what that. it is. What job does he do to know that then? Oh, he's doing a maths degree. Oh, that good. Yeah. But I said to him, um, well, I need it to be this diameter at the top and that diameter at the bottom. I have no idea how to do it. I just, no? I, I, said, when, I said to Amy, we can't have flower pots because we can't do it. Okay, can't do it. Anyway, thank you, Freddie, because he worked it all out for me. And did you pay him well for his time? No, but I did say I might make him one. Oh, he's going to love that. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to give him street cred in Hall, yeah. isn't it? His mates go, Did you get that Mum from? turning up. Well, Freddy, yeah, yeah, Freddy, Freddy, got your door stop. Did your door stop? We'd be mortified, wouldn't we? Right. So, anyway, that's how that, that works like that. The bottom of it, they've even got holes in. Amy put holes in. Because oh. flower pots have holes. Yeah, yeah, because they do. No, so, really, it's not a real hole. It's a drawing of a hole. What's important now, this is what took me ages to work out with the soil. I wanted, I was, this is why it took me months to make this, because I wanted you to be able to put the flowers in and I couldn't work out how to get them in. I didn't want sticks or anything because I don't like, I want to use minimal extra things. Right. And if people can't, and they had to be super stuffed. So that is all yeah, they yeah, are, yeah, super yeah. stuffed. So the way that the soil is made, you get four squares of fabric. Take my just holding up again. Very upset. Um, you get four squares of fabric, which you sew together and you leave gaps. Oh, clever. Then you get a big square. And I run, so what I, on the panel, you will see there were two circles, which are templates. So rather than put the template on the paper, they're on here. So once oh, you've sewn okay. your four squares together and left gaps, you cut out the circle oh. and you, so you use that as the template. But then you can use that for something else Whatever, later. Whatever, yeah, for what, you could use it as a coaster afterwards. Yeah. That's why I put, Amy put flowers in the middle. I said, just draw a circle, but she made it a pretty no, one. Of course. So well, Amy's the creative artist. She, yes, one thankfully. Team, isn't she? Thankfully, yes. Yes, because yes, you should see the sketches and things that I send her. I'll have <coughs> leaves, Amy, and then I get these beautiful things, and Aww. I've sent her something rubbish. Um, so that's how, and then it's really simple. You just sew the top to the bottom, and then you leave the gap, but you don't stuff it at that point, because right. the first time I did it, I stuffed it and then put the flowers in. It was really hard to get the flowers in. So you put the flowers in, and then you stuff okay. it. Okay. Okay, so... That's, that's where I've got to. That's what you end up with if you're doing the blue one. Right. So there's my soil with, with gaps. The holes in. With gaps at the bottom. But I like this one because she's done it like a sort of a cracked gla um, glaze. Glaze, that'll be it. Crackle glaze. So then you end up with that. That is your pot. Yeah. Then you need to make the flowers. So the flowers are all for the um, doorstop. Let me move that out of the way. Um, Julie, I'll tell you about Rebecca's uh, necklace in a minute. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? She just said, uh, it's, it, well, go on, we'll do it now. She said, uh, Rebecca's uh, necklace is intriguing. It's beautiful, isn't it? What is it? Well, it's from your friend. My friend, Lo. From my friend, and I love it. So, so it's, what a is it? it's a needle, a needle, needle, thread, needle a and thread. With thread. A quick close up there. Isn't it beautiful? 
So when I worked on that sewing quarter. Yeah, that their sewing quarter. And it was my birthday, the whole office club together. Yeah, I didn't. Except for you. Yeah. And um, <laughs> that Wendy Road. Oh. <laughs> bought it for me. I know, I know, because we had the whole thing going on. It's just lovely. So Lo, Lo from O&P mm. Silver, who yeah. made, made my needle ring and made so many of your needle rings, she will do commission jewellery and that's, we, we commissioned that for your well, birthday. Apps, I wear it most days and I love it because you can just, it's just really nice. It's funny, I never wear any jewellery at all and yet I'd never t I take this ring off to go to sleep at night time, but that's all. I love it, I it's just really, really lovely. Anyway, let's anyway. carry on with the thing. So you, the, um, the stamens of print and the stems are all printed together, so you don't have to add that on. Right. That comes on the panel. Right. Yeah, yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. so that's on the panel. Uh, you sew two right sides together, turn them out, and then you just stuff it. Like, you just super stuff it. So you just... How did you get the stuffing all the way up there, then? Well, you just get... You start with little bits. I got really good at it in the end. You start with little bits and then a stick. Right, okay. Like okay. a skewer or something. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah. keep poking it in until it goes all the way to the end and then you have it really super stuffed like that. <laughs> Looks like a caterpillar from here. Yeah, lovely. Um, but I've made them so they're long enough. If you think, if you look at this, they will, they go, they, see, they go quite a long Into way inside. Pocket. And it tells you all the measurements about how, where you put them inside. Then you make the leaves and they are two-sided. Right. Sew them together, turn the right sides out. So is there any interfacing in anything so far? No. I put wadding on the inside of the flower okay. pot. Okay, that 80-20 wadding. Yes, yeah. because I found that it gave it a bit more um, body. You could mm -hmm. use any wadding you want. Yeah, yeah. And when you do the gravel bit, top tip, it's best to put your filling or your weight filling in something, otherwise it starts disappearing. Yes. So I put them in a plastic bag, but it was a bit crunchy. Yeah. Poo bag is the best thing. A dog poo bag. A then. dog poo bag. Because they're very soft. Okay, if you haven't got a dog poo, <laughs> a dog, if you haven't got a dog. You could just use a fabric bag yeah. or something, but yeah. poo bag's brilliant because they're really sort of soft and they don't make rustly noises. Okay. Top tip for any dog owners. Are they biodegradable though? <laughs> yeah, they are. So <laughs> <laughs> they are actually. So at some point, all of my gravel Yeah, gonna fall only out. because <laughs> I've got <laughs> a different, in my, I've got a thing on the side of my kitchen that I put my waste Those food would be in. good because they're soft, aren't and they? And they're very soft. Yes. And it was only when Ripley the dog came to stay, and I was like, putting my food in, thinking, what does this remind me of? And it reminds me of Ripley's poo oh, bag. Oh, yeah. So, yes, a food bag or a poo yeah, bag is yeah. perfect for your gravel. Okay. So, yes, yeah, so I put a bit of in wadding in there. It just gives it a bit more body. Okay. And then if you want to, I mean, I quilted around here. Before you assemble it, you could uh -huh. quilt round all these lines. Oh, because you've got the wadding in there. Because yeah. what you do is you actually quilt the rim of the thing in the ring. Anyway, you get your leaf. There's the leaf. Yeah, we then will be going over a bit on this ad just here because the next hour is just me, so it's fine. Then the flowers. So every flower is made up of two pieces. You sew them right sides together, and turn the right sides out, and then you sew them together to make a big loop. Yeah. Okay. And there's an inner flower and an outer flower. Yeah. I've got little stages going on here. Right. So then you gather the, um, you work a gathering stitch all the way around the bottom. So you get the inner flower, inner petals it's called, they're all labelled. Right. If you, um, they're labelled one, two, three, four and five. So because all the flowers are slightly different colours, the inner flower, if I show you like that, the inner flower is a petals a slightly darker version of the outer. Oh so do make word. sure you let, I know it's amazing, isn't it? Because I just sent, I saw to Amy, and I, my, the ones I'd done were like spotty fabric, but she's done it so that they're all, um, they look like proper flowers. Yeah, petals. yeah, yeah. They look gorgeous on the panel when you haven't seen them together. It like sort of graduated. Yeah. So try and put the right inner with the right outer. Clearly, it's not the end but of the you world. Could, no, you could, you mix, could. You could mix them because yes. my or, my orange and yellow ones here look lovely with the two colours mixing. Yeah, you could. You could mix them all up. But if yeah. you want them to be the same, yeah. Yeah. don't forget to label them. So there's the inner petal mm -hmm. gathered, and then put it that way round. You just push it in, and then the inner one comes like half a centimetre above the bottom of the stamen, which is quite nice that you've got the stamen because then you know where. To yeah. Do. And then you just sew it into place by going through backwards and forwards. Then you do the same, but I threaded my needle in advance, mm. with the outer ones. When you start, don't start by the seam because it doesn't gather as well starting and finishing by uh -huh. a seam. I, when I gather mine, double your thread over so that you can put it through the loop like that. That's a really nice strong start rather than over sewing. And then just gather it all the way along. I, Try and do it about the same amount from the bottom. 
And actually, I think, although you see these gatherings on the outside, I think they look quite nice. Uh -huh. And you won't see the, the stitches because they sort of end up within the gathers. But it gives it that kind of home sewn sort of look, doesn't it? Yeah. Which is really weird not having somebody here going left a bit, left a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I like. No, I've got it. I've so they're going, it. tell her left a bit. No, you haven't had one instruction so far. You've done it perfect. How come you can do it perfectly when you're a guest and you rubbish at it? I don't know. I just can't. Just can't. Not rubbish. I move. No, but I'm, I, I think I just like drift. Well, you, it's funny because you drift that way. All the other guests drift <laughs> this way. But for some reason, you drift that way. I don't know why. Just drift. Maybe it's just thinking it's nearly going home time. Yeah, just, I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> So I've done the running stitch all the way around there. Yeah. And then just pull it up. Do it gently. Yeah. I've done double thread so it doesn't break, but do it gently. Then um, it's easier. I've made so many of these, so you can see how I know this. It's easier if you pull it up and then push this, push it through the stem because it's the same diameter all the way around. And then pull it tight. Yeah. And then work two or three over sewing stitches so that your gathers don't come undone, but don't cut it yet. Right. Right. Okay, now take it off, and it's easier now to adjust the gathers off. Oh, uh, I see. It's quite hard to adjust the gathers when it's on. Yeah, so what you're doing is making sure it's the right yes. circumference. And now so that's yeah, why you're saying right. don't cut the thread. Adjust your gathers so that, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but so that they're reasonably evenly distributed. And then you can put it back in And then this one, the outer, well, I haven't sewn the bottom, so they're not going to stain in very well. You will obviously sew that one in first. That comes level with the bottom of the stamen. Right. And then all you have to do to sew it into place is you just go it's through. That's why you cut your thread off. Yes, do, don't cut the thread because it's annoying you have to get them. That's fallen off because I'm sewing it on, but you would have sewn that one on. You just go through a few times, mm -hmm. sort of from either side. I probably did it about three or four times. This is quite nice. This is what... You can make all the do all the machine sewing, and then in the evening while you're watching EastEnders. Um, do you watch EastEnders? Oh, I love EastEnders. I watch it. It's so years. miserable. It's so miserable. But I love it. Is my friend I Jill love... still in it, or she left yet? Who? Stacy's mum. No, Jean. she's yeah. Jean's still there. Oh, yeah. She's still there. Well, she has got cancer, isn't she? So. Not in real life. And she's fine in real life. Stacy's in prison. Oh, is she? Yeah. Awful. But Could... they say Janine's coming back. No. Yeah, have you not read that? Oh my lord, Kush has been pushed under the tube. So Kush is on Holby City. Is he? He's going as a consultant surgeon, consultant brain surgeon. Oh really? Yeah. Oh no, I like because I really like Kush. Can't believe. Oh, do you know Hannah's been completely in love with Kush for years, and when um, we first started working together, she said, "Oh, he's my boyfriend on telly," and I actually know that my friend Bonnie played her ma his mum, so I got Bonnie to write Kush to write Kush to write on his photo no. to my fiance. Lots of love from Kush. Well, Paul Carmel, she's lost both of her sons yeah. now, but he is she's in not in it anymore, though, is she? No, she's living in Dubai. Yeah, but he, um, the other one, is in Casualty. It's who? Oh yeah, the other the yeah. other son, the yeah. other son. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we're anyone who doesn't watch well, these We've gone standards. way over time, and here we are. Anyone who's going to have a clue. It's what, like a proper sewing group. They're going to have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> no, Should we go on to Neighbours as well? Because like, Neighbours I love neighbors. even more than I love EastEnders. I haven't watched Neighbours since that boy was in it who sang a song. What, Jason Donovan? No, before, after him. Paul. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think his character was Paul, and his, he lived with his auntie and his dad. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Oh, we'll have a think about that. Yeah. I'm going back like... Oh, no, I've watched it like since the beginning. Oh, oh okay. So Little there's... Paul. Little Paul loves... You cut, he and... Who was it? The other one. There's two of them. Jesse. Remember mm. Jesse? Yeah. They adore, he said. They re, um, um, Neighbours. They ring each really? other and talk about it. Anyway, carry on, carry anyway, on. Anyway, so there's the flower. Yeah. And then you take all the measurements from the instructions of where you put... You sew... All you do is sew the leaf round. Just yeah. do little hand stitches. And then you can assemble it. You can turn the tops of the leaves over mm -hmm. if you want a little bit. Shove them through the holes yeah. in here. Here's one I made so earlier. So we still not stuffed? No, stuff because I stuffed it the, first yeah. and it was quite hard. So shove them through the holes. It tells you where to st shove them, push them in. Shove them. Shove them. That's a so just put term. a little pin there and then yeah. when you put it in the hole, like so there, just hand sew it all the way around the edge. Turn it around and sew it all the way around the edge. Okay. You do all of them. It's a bit funny when you come to stuff it because you've got all these flowers yeah, going all yeah, over the, the way, place. Yeah. But you stuff it through there. So... Stuff the sort of top bit 
then then you can put your gravel poo bag food bag thing in there mm -hmm. i mean you do have to adjust it a bit but it's fine actually it's you know, and every now and then i move them around but they do they will stand up on their own without the use of yeah. sticks or artificial things and that is the flower pot Oh, Kim says, just say how much I've missed these live shows due to changing my job. I've not been able to watch, but today I've had no work and I snuggle on the sofa with a cuppa. You also reminded me I have a bag kit in my stash. Kim, get it out and sew it. Yeah, make it. Right, are you finished? Yes, no? so the little one is made in exactly the same way, except for the flowers are slightly different. Only because, oh, because they're closed at the top. Well, I made them like this, but in miniature they were too fiddly. I thought, oh, no one's going to want to do yeah. that. So they are slightly different oh, flowers. Oh, they're a different flower. They're a tulip. They're oh, a you've tulip. got your stripes in there, though. But uh, the, everything else is made exactly the okay. same, but it's just the flowers are different because miniature versions of that were too... Too fiddly. Too fiddly. Didn't like that. How so, brilliant. There we go, and that's it. I love Rebecca as a guest. She keeps it real, like stuff it in there. Shove it, yeah, <laughs> shove it in there. Shove it in there. Right, <laughs> recap, recap, recap. Now I'm going to recap everything from the whole hour, starting with the flower pots. So we've got the flower pots here. Now, which colour would you like first? Blue pot first. Blue pot's got the yellow flowers. Hang on, so this one. Right, so this is this one. So you get the panel. There's the flowers, look. Isn't that lovely? They're, they're beautiful, aren't they? There's the flowers. So, uh, uh, the slightly in the lead, the one with the blue pot with the orange flowers in it. $19.99 gets you the panel and the instructions. Right? You need wadding, toy stuffing, and some heavy weight like gravel or the recycled polyester, whatever. whatever. Yeah, that's it, really. And a bag of stuffing that we sell is enough to do both of them. Okay, perfect. that's what perfect, I use. Lovely. So that's this one that I've got on my table here. The one Rebecca Reed has got on her table over there is the, uh, the terracotta pot with the blue and p pink flowers. There's the flowers on that one. So you get the whole panel and you get the instructions. For $19.99. Beautiful. Now... What was before that? The cats will be next. The clouder of cats. In this one, you get the huge panel, and you can make what you like, but you can actually make in this one a cushion, a tote bag, a shaped cat cushion, a zip purse, a pouch, and a picture. There you go. Or you get the four panels with the cats on there, all the same size, and then all the fabric to make all the other bits and bobs, the plique and the cat pouch and the cat purse, and there's the uh, shaped cat cushion. Everything like that that you need in there. And that one there is $24.99 for that one. Okay. Then we went on to the tote bags. So, I've got rainbow and I've got grey. Rainbow's in the lead. I'll do rainbow first. Here you go. So, this is rainbow. Uh, you get so much on here. Look at the size of this. I mean, the panel is enormous. At uh, $19.99, you don't have to add any fabric at all on that one. Everything you need is in there. Yeah, everything. 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 Even your tape measure handles, which are to scale. It's off the shelf. Hmm? Do you want the tape measure? No, I'm, I'm fine. I've got my own, thank you. Look professional. 19. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm fully good where I'm going to look professional. Oh. Just hang a tape measure on my neck. Like it. Uh, anyway, she's too busy doing her packing over there, as you can yeah, I'm see. I'm just packing everything up. Yeah, that's fine. Then in I've got the suitcase. tote bag in the grey and the taupe, <laughs> or the grey and the caramel. Nineteen ninety nine. It's a huge tote bag, fit lots of chopping in there. Lots of potatoes. It's very good for a like, night away as well, weekend away. A weekend away. Mm -hmm. you can get loads I in take there. more than that away for a weekend. My shoes are just fitting Options. There. <laughs> Options. <laughs> Oh, yes, I've got my boot. daughter always says. Oh, well, I'll do the purple bag because that's got this in it. Well, anyway. I always say, why have you got so much stuff? She goes, options, mum, options. Of course. <laughs> Woman after my own heart. Right, now I've gone to stained glass uh, sunrise. This is lovely. That's half the panel, and there's the other half of the panel. 1999, so you get the panel and the instructions to make a wall hanging. And there's the wall and the wall hanging outside of <laughs> Rebecca Reed's house. Slightly cracked. Then we went on to the sewing case. Oh my God. We had that in two different colourways. Red first. This is the red. Now this is a huge panel, this one again. Lots and lots and lots. So this one's red ditzy and red spot and red sewing equipment. Okay, a third of the stock of what we've got today has been checked out already on that one. 90, and you get the instructions. 
And I'll show you what it makes in a minute when I show you the pink one. 1999. Then I've got the pink one, which is in a hexy pattern. This is what it makes. Little sewing case there. Obviously, you don't get the threads, but there's little pockets. You need to put a zip on those. And then there's the um, pink cushion, the needle case, and the tape retractable tape measure. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name. <laughs> and then, that, oh, that's got to go to Rebecca that way. So, um, this one's the pink one, and this is the hexy fabric look, and the gingham. And that's the instructions, 1999. Now, we started the show, which felt like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, only because I was... Uh, it has, it's yes. You've only because I thought I'd put their flowers up on I the don't. shelf yesterday. You have done a lot of kits. Right, now Hannah's saying in very, very uh, assertive terms, you do need to check out on these. Which one first? Bumblebee first. So in here, this is making your uh, hand sewing needle case and, oops, your, machi oh, come here. your machine needle case. Right, there's more than 30 of you got it in, in your baskets. Now, how many have I got left? Okay, basically, once you've all checked out, these are basically sold out. So there's your, there's your bumblebee needle case back panel and instructions. And then that also comes in vintage. Taj. Vintage. Oh, the vintage is the most popular. But like, you need to take those, don't okay. you? You need to take those. Oh, no, you need, don't need to take them. Five of these left once you've all checked out. This is the vintage one. Only five of those left when you've all checked out. Beautiful. Right. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Well, Lees. thank you for going through everything. That was quite a trial. It was, it? It was good. When's part two? When's volume two? I don't, we need to get to do some more kits now, don't we? Oh, is that all, is that all we've done? No, there are some others as well that we haven't brought back yet. Because it does yeah. say in the graphics, volume one. Oh, true, that's, yeah. No, because there are things we haven't brought yeah, back yet. exactly. But I'm working on the next lot now. Oh, get her. Bees. Right. I'm on bees now. What? Bees. That's my next one. Bees? Bees. The next Amber Makes kit. Bees. Is to do with bees. Bees. That's all I'm saying. Only because I haven't quite worked it all out yet. Oh, she hasn't worked it out, she yeah. just knows there's bees. Right, it's okay, don't go anywhere because after the break I've got tools and I've got Care Bears. Now I need to warn you that the Care Bear panels are flying out. It's a very, very busy day today. We will see you in three minutes from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one p and even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking, um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and 
oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I always just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say, don't get disheartened. Take your um, learning journey slowly. Don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt. Build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello, welcome to John Scott's uh, haberdashery store, specialising in care bears today. I know, I know. Lovely, lovely. Right, we'll just start. We'll just start. Let's just start because we've got loads doing. It's twenty past already. I 
Okay, that'll be this one. 28, here we go. Oh, no, it's about to sell out and I haven't even unraveled it yet. Brand spanking new today. Uh, we have no plans to get any more of these in. Oh, my word, look at it. I'm going to hold it up this way because you won't see it otherwise. How much is it? 11.99. How big is it? Oh, is that, there's no measurements then. So it's 90 centimetres long by about 42 inches wide. Isn't it lovely? It's about to sell out though. There's gemstones all around her. What's she called this one then? Smile. What's that second word? Oh, big. Smile big. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything about the Care Bears, I'm afraid. I was going to fill you in, but then I think I don't know. Did they have rainbow tummies? Oh, so she must be Gem. Is she called Gem then, do you think? We'll look her up now. Oh, there were ten originally, not three. Oh, Chia. She's called Chia, this one. But, okay. Why do I, she's got gemstones around her then? Cheerful gemstones. I'll come back, I'll come back to it. Oh, sold out. I won't come back to that one. Sold out, that one. Okay, which one would you like to go to next? Oh, Michelle says, loving the show. I'm ha happy my adjust forms just arrived. Oh, brilliant. Right, okay. What number is that then? 29. Right, okay. Oh, no. I'm ever so sorry. It also about to sell out. So this is called what? Oh, there's gemstones on all of them. Oh, look, Hannah, you need one of these. They've both got rainbow tummies. Oh, no, no. One's got like a... Mm. <laughs> well, one's the rainbow. One's got the rainbow, so that's cheer. But the other one's got like a nine. Oh, lollipop. Share bear is purple. And... and Oh, that's not, but that, she's got, to, it's got a different rainbow on her tummy than that one. Oh, okay. Anyway, it's about to sell out, about to sell out. And then last but not least, that's sold out now. Last but not least. Oh, I like the colours on this. It's got gold on it. This one. Is this disco bear? Oh. There's three bears on that one, Hannah. What? I didn't even see the blue one on the last one. I do apologise. I only saw the two. <laughs> well, she kept going about the third one. I was like, I don't know what she's talking about. What does this one say? Young, wild, and carefree. But look, it's got gold on it. Two left. Oh, just as well, my arms are aching now. I'm not young, wild, carefree. I haven't been near a gym in a year, so. <laughs> okay. I've done, pa oh, hang on. I had done bundles to go with them. Oh, I should have. Right, maybe I should have done the bundles as we went through. Right, bundle of all three colours, jade, purple and fuchsia. <laughs> She's called it a bear, bu a bear border bundle. Why have you spelt it like that, though? No, no. That's somebody who stays at boarding school. <laughs> no. Anyway, bear border bundle. Right, on the telly, that looks blue. That's definitely dark purple. That's jade, and that's like a fuchsia. Well, a flamingo, flamingo. There you go. You want to do a simple border on the quilt, you get half a metre of each, £10.47. Half of that bundle went on pre-order, just so you know. 
Ten pound forty seven. Lovely colours that, aren't they? Like gem colours, I'd almost call those. Okay, so I've got two more, ones with two pinks on it. These are different, these are different colours. Half the stock of this one's gone. So you get on this one half a metre of each fabric. So you get, I'm thinking, ras oh, yeah, raspberry and coral. Seven of those left, that's all. It's one of those days today. Well, every day is one of those days at the moment, isn't it? And then I've got it in the purples. Oh, it looks blue on the telly. It's definitely, definitely deep, deep spiritual purple. This is, pu this is purple. And that's amethyst. But you want your amethyst to be that colour, really, don't you? Six pounds and 49 pence, purple fabric bundle. You get half a metre of each. Oh, Hannah's created some very um, arty fabric bundles, patterns, pictures. Did you scrunch it up as well? Oh, no, that's their picture, isn't it? Six pounds and 49 pence, though. Over half the stock of that one's gone as well now. I oh, know, everyone loves the Care Bear and the colours that go with. Do you want to look at the three one again, did you say? So you get jade, you get purple, and you get, I want to say fuchsia, but that's not right. Is it? Flamingo. That does look blue. It's not. It's dark, dark purple. Half. It's what, sorry? Oh, bright pink, that is. Bright pink. Jade and purple. Half the over half stock's gone. Over half the stock is gone. What day are we doing that? On Sunday, I've got Kit Roundup Goes Wild. Just to pre-warn you. And warning is it really is a warning. Uh, Ten pound forty-seven. <clears throat> Beautiful. Right, <clears throat> I'll come back to those later. Let me move those to one side. Okay. Shall we do the Beth Studley um, quilt bundle? Uh, quilt bundle. Bundle of patterns, right? So that oh, these are the five patterns. Oh, they're available separately as well. Okay, so there's the bundle of five. If you want five. Oh, okay, one isn't available on its own. So $29.99 will get you the five bundles. Not the five bundles, the five patterns within the bundle. So you've got your fat quarter... That's your fat quarter storage. This is your um, quilted hamper. This is your woven basket. Okay, you can't. You can only get woven basket pattern in this um, kit in this bundle. Uh, then there's the pods, the bubble pods that Janice made, and we've got the storage pods. Oh, with another one inside it. There you go. So that's a sample of all, all the uh, makes there. And then I'll show you the, um, just put them on that table across there. There we go. So there's the five patterns there, all in the bundle. Beth Studley. Right, you can't do woven, woven, so we'll do that there. Which one would you like to do first? Bubble pods. There you go. Finish size, five and a half by five by five. Beginner level. <coughs> Six pounds and 50 pence for that pattern. Lovely. They're lovely patterns to do, Beth Sudley ones. Okay. 
the other storage ones, the storage pods. Uh, £6.50. Beautiful. They're a slightly bigger. Um, there's a picture of one with a cat inside it. Was that, did Ian send that in or did Beth have a picture? Beth had a picture of that. Six pounds and fifty pence. Then quilted hamper. If you, uh, I don't know how this will work. If you go to our um, YouTube page and write in uh, Sewing Street and then write Beth Studley, I'm not sure. Does it not work like that? This was 12th of March. It was Jules, wasn't it? Jules, me, you've made this one. That's a picture of, the, of Beth's one, that one there. Okay, and last one that's available is this one. This is a fat quarter bundle. It's like a Moroccan lamp, doesn't it? Fat quarter bundle um, and a fat quarter storage. See, I think they'd look nice with candles in, but don't put a candle in it. And the only candle, you can, no, you can put a candle in that doesn't light, you know, one of those with a battery in it. That would look nice in there, wouldn't it? Six pounds and 50 pence. Okay, moving that over there. Uh, quilt book. The Quilter's Bible by Linda Clements. Now, I need to warn you that this is a, a huge bestseller, this book, and it absolutely flies out. Lynn Edwards has done the forward. How much is it? 15 .99. Look at Look at the thickness of that book. 15 .99. 15 pounds and 99 pence. And again, it's got the recommended retail price on the back of 19 99 So let's have a look at this then. So, where, so you can see... Patchwork, applique, quilting, and finishing off. So there's introduction, features of a quilt, getting started, all the tools you might need, gizmos and gadgets, materials, embellishments, colour wheels, buying and storing fabrics, looking after your fabrics, marking your fabrics, using templates, drawing and cutting shapes. Lovely book, isn't it? Because there's so much... Uh, in, instruction inspiration in here. Then they get on to patchwork. So then we get to common quilt settings. So you've got straight setting, on point setting, alternate, alternating setting, tessellating, medallion, tilted, and sashed. Then you've got different kinds of quilts. Then you've got your different kinds of blocks, which we talk about a lot here. Look, oh, that's fantastic. Look, so you've got your one patch, your four patch, your five patch, your seven patch, your nine patch. Square in a square. And then you've got star blocks, curved, polygon, pictorial, pictorial, block settings. Wow, but, oh, look, at that's lovely, isn't it? Then talking about scrap quilts. We haven't even got onto the projects yet. Oh, I, I, there are projects in here, I think, aren't there? Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of. Let me, I'll take you through it anyway. Yeah. Techniques. You see, different techniques there. Different putting blocks, piecing blocks together. Patchwork and square rectangles. Log ca oh, I love a log cabin. Then you see, look, make it now. Log cabin table topper. So it has like projects as you go along. As you learn, it's got different projects as you go along. It's very cave, isn't it, that one? Techniques, and then we make a Seminole scarf. Then we do Bargello techniques, patchwork triangles techniques, patchwork in diamonds and polygons, patchwork with curves. This is brilliant, isn't it? Everything you need to know that you could just keep going back to for less, well, for less than sixteen pounds. Technique carrying on, technique. right? They go make it now. Memory box. Oh, look, they call that folded. Oh, different folded patchwork. So the different folded star. Cathedral window, secret garden, Japanese folding. 
all your instructions of how to do each and every one of those. Then we've got special effects. Oh. Oh, it's Mr. Parsons. Sashing. Mermaids. Applique. Oh, look, look, isn't that lovely? And I'm not, I'm only, I'm not even halfway through the book yet. There's loads more, look. Fantastic, isn't it? Brilliant, brilliant. Lovely book. Lovely is a gift, that one as well. Then how to quilt your actual piece, of your sandwich that you put together. Big stitch, whole cloth, Celtic. Sashko. Machine quilting there. F oh, look, and the project is a floral lap quilt. Lovely. Free motion quilting, long arm quilting, quilt as you go, corded quilting, stuffed quilting. Oh, what's it? What's the making? Oh, scented sachet. Sachet away. Hannah, you stay. Emma, sachet away. Oh, Hannah wants to sachet away for some food. Isn't that lovely? It's such a lovely book. Uh, I have now fewer than ten of those. We will reorder it, I'm presuming. Uh, Suzanne said, this book is like an encyclopedia of quilting. It is exactly that. And Claire said she'd love to know how to do a watercolour quilt. Oh, I don't know what one of those is. What's that in there? No, I didn't. I don't remember reading it out. Watercolour. No, it's not there. Anyway. Lovely book, really nice book, £15.99. Am I doing the other book while I'm here? Oh, no? Okay. No, 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 I'll, I'll follow you. Right, Labour of Love, Scrappy Quilts at the Heart of the Home. There we go, Introduction. All about scraps. I mean, this is brilliant for everyone because everyone's got scraps, haven't they? Now, these are actual projects. Look, Whimsy Stars. Scrappy Dresden's. Oh, now that's like, um, I'm sure I saw one like that on Pinterest. And um, uh, Sally Ann does one like that, doesn't she? We don't want Sally Ann like that. Oh, they've even got the template, look. They've even got the template. Farmhouse Gardens. <laughs> no, 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 we're laughing because we know somebody who writes emails and he does this. He puts a Dresden plate at the end of every sentence. Sherbet and cream. Oh, that's nice. Is that is that a random one? Hang on. That looks like one, you know, like... Um, Nicholas Ball, the improv quilt, that's like, it looks like you just sew any strips together. That's nice, isn't it? Family tree. Cottage charms. Window box. Oh, that's nice. Now that must be, um, do they do it foundation paper piece or do they do it stitching? No, they do it stitching. Oh, no. Foundation paper piece, uh, uh, EPP, sorry, not foundation paper, there they are. They look bigger than an inch though, those, don't they? You looked at that quilt, you'd think they were, oh no, I see. I've got this bowl, how funny! I've got that exact bowl! If that is my house, this is just you coming through the back door. And the washing machine's there. Not the washing machine, the fridge, sorry. Harmony. Laguna. Oh, I love Laguna Beach. And then Garden Path. Oh, no, another one. Sunshine on a rainy day. Oh, right. You know how I said at the beginning of the show, at 8 o'clock this morning, I started by saying, oh, isn't it a beautiful day? Isn't it gorgeous? So lovely. Rebecca, he's just coming. And go, go and look how dark it is outside. It's like there's going to be the biggest storm ever. It's so dark outside. It's terrifying. Anyway, how much is this? Fifteen ninety nine, lovely book. Okay. 
I don't think it's going to be. We'll be all right, Hannah, because we can drive. It must be the buses that stop. I saw there was a man at your bus stop yesterday when you got there. Oh, he wasn't going to for a bus. Okay, where are we going next? Wadding by the half meter. <coughs> I'm not going to get that. It's 100 inches wide. It, essential tool, this is very useful. Because if you can buy it, like, rather than just buying a queen size, a king, king size, a crib size, you can buy it off the roll to the size that you want. It's 100 inches wide. It is the 80-20, 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Really lovely quality. And you can just buy it, buy the half meter. Now, it doesn't come in pieces. This is a bit misleading. Let me take that. Well, um, I'll just tell you. It do, you know, normally, if it's in a bag like that, I go, oh, this is how it comes. If you buy 10, you get 10 of these. No. It, you buy it off the bolt. So if you want seven meters, you get seven meters. If you want one and a half meters, you get one and a half meters in one piece. It won't come. How much would you use for your Care Bear panels? Well, next to nothing. So if you do 100, as long as, let's have a look, your fabric's 100 inches, it's 100 inches wide. How big's this? 90 centimetres, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like, um, because you wouldn't, hang on, it's not, oh no, you'd need to buy a metre. Would you? No, hang on. 35 inches, right? So you'd need to buy... A beta. Yeah. But you'd have loads left over. Yeah, you've got loads and loads and loads left over. Because it's 100 inches wide, isn't it? So, yeah. 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 Yeah, if you do borders on it, things, you know, but, but it's just a brilliant way to have 80-20 um, in your stash and not cut to a particular size. I know, I know. Hang on, I'll show you. Yeah, because look, this is half a meter, right? Look. Yeah, you would need to get a meter because you couldn't fit it in that way around, that's all. And you've got to do a little bit around the edge. A weather update from Pat. Uh, hailstones in Burton staff, staffs, John. Oh, no. It, it's on its way, it means. Uh, somebody else mentioned hailstones earlier, didn't they? That's near, I'll tell you where that is. That's near um, Alison Mary and Marion Allison. Loads of people taking a metre of that. Well done. H642, is it back in stock? Oh. Right. Now, this is different. This is, but this is the one of the ones where if you buy three of these, you'll get three of these, right? It's already cut into a metre square piece. This is, it hasn't been in for two weeks, right? We haven't had this for, uh, two, two, yeah, two weeks. Now, H640 is um, your fusible that we use in lots of bag projects, one-sided fusible. Use it in lots and lots of bag projects and backs of cushions and think where you're going to qu quilt a back of a cushion or the front of a cushion, you put it behind the, the, the piecing. So do it to, oh, just add sleet. In, uh, that's on the Wirral. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're, if you're uh, instructed to use fusible fleece, this is what it means. One-sided fusible fleece. And that's where you get, you get a metre of that. Crikey. We have to go soon because it's Yarn Lane today, isn't it? Sorry about that.
Where would they be then? Emma, you know those things you came in earlier saying, have we got these anywhere? Where are they? No, no, this morning in prep. I'll show you a picture because they're not on the bottom of the trolley. Right, this is what we're talking about. What they've got is they're, they're wooden hangers. You can put those on the wall and then they've got to slip a slot in them. You put the quilt into the slot. There's a marble inside the slot and it holds the quilt up. So it means you never have to put pins through your quilt if you're displaying them on the wall. Ruler rack. Here we go, little ruler rack here. I've only got the little one available. The big one's just sold out. So this is lovely. If you want to store your rulers, it's by Millwood. And you literally, you just have your rulers standing like that because you rather than having them cluttering the floor or your desk or anything like that. Look, £10.99. £10.99. It's got four slots in it. And you can fit all your rulers in there. It's made of beech wood. And it's ten pounds and ninety nine pence. Brilliant. The big one is sold out, by the way. The big one has sold out. Right. Okay. Now, sadly, I've got no scissors to put in this, but this works. Oh. Oh. So, right. Buy this. It's still on the early bird price. Saving how much? It's half price. Half price. What you do is, I haven't got any scissors here to show you, but you literally stand your scissors up in there like that. You obviously can't fit your pink and shears. We normally have it on that sh Oh, it's because we, we cleared the shelves, wasn't it? It's like Yarn Lane. Um, it's brilliant because all your scissors stand beautifully neat, like in a row, like little soldiers in a row. Sunny in Wigan. Thank you. Five pa it's half price. Half price. That matches your ruler stand and your... Um, thread stand, if you've got a thread stand and things like that, if you want matching sets in your in your um, workroom. Uh, yeah. Half price, keep going through for that one. I'm rushing because we suddenly realised that we cut to the end of the show. Clapper. Now, I did this the other day. I haven't got the denim or the iron to show you. Um, there's the still of it. Oh, there's only three left in stock. There are only three left in stock. This is used for when you want to do a really, really clean, you press new stocks of steam, put the clapper on it. It absorbs the steam out of the fabric. So you get a nice, really sharp seam and all of the moisture has gone into the wood of the clapper. Perfect. Oh, two now left, two left. 505 spray next. Oh, right, okay. Um, how many of these have we got left? <gasps> right, we had hundreds and hundreds of these, and we tell you all the time, when we get it in, that they fly out. We had it back in the other day, and we'd bought more than we'd ever bought before, and on the more first morning it was back, we sold more than we'd ever sold before. People were multi-buying and everything like that. We're down to 35 now. 35. Now, we will reorder it. It just depends how long it takes, shipping-wise, for it to get to us. And the June Taylor one we've sold out of, the basting spray we're out of the June Taylor one. Oh, here we go. We get this story every single time. If you run out halfway through quilting a quilt and, and, and it's a nightmare, that's Hannah, was doing, was hand quilting a quilt, wanted to put a sandwich together, did half of it, ran out. That half was really easy. That half was really difficult. In fact, she didn't finish, she put it under the bed. And I wouldn't be at all surprised if this ends up in Hannah's house in the next few days. Oh, it's got to be open. I can't open this one, look, because it's sealed, it's all sealed. Sloth box very quickly. This is nice, isn't it? I'll do it that way. Oh, there you go, it's the front, the front of it there. Really lovely sewing box. It's got a, a magnetic clasp here. Beautiful design, look, the lovely sloths on there. And then inside, you have the lovely solid tray and that Beautiful lime lining. It's got the uh, little pouch and it's got the pin cushion. Uh, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. £24.99. Nice solid box. B little cl uh, plastic handle there. £24.99. Okay, very quickly, here's tomorrow's menu. 
Uh, and it's Wendy tomorrow. It's not me tomorrow. So we've got Moda Homegrown Salsa Collection. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, I'll be looking at that in a minute because we're going to be unpacking that in a minute. Then at 9 o'clock, we've got the Helen Newton's Cushion Launch. But it doesn't say what it is. Oh. Then Out of Africa with Dawn Taylor. It doesn't say what that is. It's very, it's very, very mystical. New fabric collection. Is it designed by Meryl Streep? Doesn't mention Meryl. No, doesn't mention Meryl. Um, now, isn't this funny? Look, we've got a launch of Helen Newton's cushions at 9 o'clock. And they've got a round up at 11 o'clock. And then at 12 o'clock, designer kits revisited. Oh, now what's the, can I ask what the, um, do we know what the launch, or maybe it's supposed to be a secret kit. Fun in puddles. Fun in puddles is the new cushion. And salsa, well, I imagine it's going to be beautiful colours and everything like that. Right, now, we are about to go to Yarn Lane. So uh, if you're on the, watching on the telly, stay exactly where you are. If you're on the website, YouTube, or the Facebook page, you do need to go to the Yarn Lane version. Now, if you've already bought something from me this morning in Sewing Street, that's your PMP sorted, because uh, you'll get, you, it carries on. It, it's the sign-in is exactly the same as it is for Sewing Street for your Yarn Lane uh, account. However, any of the projects that I've shown on Sewing Street will not appear on the Yarn Lane website, and vice versa, none of the Yarn Lane products will appear on the uh, Sewing Street website. We've got children's, gorgeous children's clothes, bamboo. We're using bamboo, uh, oh, it's lovely, it feels gorgeous. Um, I'll be back, for those of you who aren't coming to, to Yarn Lane, I mean, come on in, it's great fun. Um, I've got uh, Carrie Gardner on with me today. Um, but uh, if not, then I'm back on Sewing Street on Saturday and Sunday. I've got two days off. What am I going to do? Uh, I know, two days off. Oh, it'll, oh, it's raining. It'll rain now. This will be it now for the rest of the week, won't it? But anyway, and then on Saturday and Sunday, it'll be beautiful sun. You watch. Anyway, so I'm back in on Saturday and Sunday. But don't go anywhere because I will see you in about four or five minutes' time on the other side of this with Yarn Lane.